Welcome to High Rollers d and I have a new soundboard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to a brand new uh, episode of High Rollers D&D, the D&D show here on High Rollers uh, D&D and Young Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you got hey, one more time. Hey, one more time. so one more wrapped time. up in his own soundboard. I'm yeah. the Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and this week I'm joined oh, by no. these guys. <laughs> it's Ken hey. and Tom, Katie Chan. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> like can we oh, all no. have soundboards? Can you believe can we all, can we all have soundboards? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if we all got soundboards and all did that vocal effect? Do you believe oh, in life after love? Share, <laughs> <laughs> um, special guest share today. Wow. Today, we're getting that. Welcome everybody. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, if you don't know, if you're new, welcome to the most chaotic D and D stream on the internet. You're used to professionals. You're used to cool actors who are always like slick and eat. Well, not none of that here. It's nothing no. but awkwardness and chaos and being losers uh he but sells us so we well <laughs> it sells so well um no major wow, notes uh this week um we are still sorting it out getting ready for the new year with a bunch of new sponsors uh if you are an awesome gaming company and you'd like to sponsor high rollers DD, do get in touch with us because i quite like money uh and we have a great audience uh, and i'm the one who normally says that, that. <laughs> yeah no i i totally stole your bit there, Kim. Um, uh, but yeah, seriously, <laughs> if you if you are a cool company, do reach out to us. But we're in the you know getting things sorted. Um, the only other thing I was going to mention as a little bit of a note is a bunch of us are streaming on our own channels at the moment as well. So like myself and Kim, uh, Rhiannon all stream on our own personal channels. Um, Tom, you can go and listen to the amazing Pitch Please podcast that Tom is a big oh. part of. Uh, every, oh, it's yeah. everyone's favorite gaming podcast, Pitch Please. I yeah. vote for it in a podcast awards. Um, if if I did, if, if it, it went a long way, that vote <laughs> a long way. <laughs> uh, and obviously, you've got hat films to trot as well. Um, and Katie just works like a real job, so she doesn't have time for any of this nonsense. I have a, a career. Yeah. This is a side. Oh, okay. You don't have a real job. Oh. You're wow. real. Are you saying I don't have a career, Mom? Mom, why are you doing this? I have a career. I have a salaried job that yeah. I have to turn up to for certain yeah. hours of the week, like Tom does That's a real as job. well. No. <laughs> Me and Tom work our butts off nah. for salary. It's video, isn't he? Easy. Anyway, yeah. Tom do doesn't it's really. Easy. It's easy. What's a pension anyway? What's a pension? What's a... <laughs> What Not even salaried employees get that nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so do come and check out all of those individual projects as well. Uh, Rhiannon, what's your what's your Twitch? It re i t r h i. Nano Kim for me, just N A N O Kim. <laughs> Hat films for Chris Trot. Yeah, you watch Hat films. They've been R N. H shut up. <laughs> Thank you for a drop. Um, I'm on Sherlock underscore Humes and then Pitch Please Podcast. You'll find it on Spotify and iTunes and all that good stuff as well. Yeah, just Google um, Pitch Perfect. Wait. It's not called that. It's not called that. <laughs> don't don't look it. will that. show up, probably. <laughs> it, it might show up. Um, it won't. It won't even show up if you and, search Pitch Please because of fucking Ellen who did a Pitch Please <laughs> series. Unbelievable. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Really? Well, wow. it's a gaming thing. You know, thanks, Ellen. Another one of your major thanks. crimes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Bitch. I think we should roll dun duns. Roll the dun duns. Um, <laughs> Cut him uh, off. If, He's not wrong. If you are. <laughs> He's not wrong. Welcome to the, the wonderful chaos, as I mentioned before. Uh, this is pretty much how every episode of High Roller starts. Uh, we are going to roll our little intro video. I will do a quick recap on last week's episode. And then we're going to play some Dungeons and Dragons. And we hope that you all have fun and you stick around and you actually watch it. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> I might have to get a real job like Katie and Tom. Uh, until then, yeah, sure. enjoy the dungeon. <laughs>
Hello and welcome back to High Rollers D&D. Last time, after the successes in the Temple of Hesper and freeing the Tempest Dragon Johandrius, the party were ambushed by Zarkira, commander of the Valkyrian Empire, and their airship, the Storm Chaser, was nearly destroyed. The party have since returned to the sky city of Gusthaven, home of Lucius, and where they have facilities and allies to lean upon in their time of need. Having spent some time trading in various magical relics, meeting with various allies, the party have been made aware by Lucius's sister and a member of the Magrona noble family that the Cloud Barons, a network of nationalists and criminals who are responsible for the deaths of Lucius's family, may be working with the Valkyrian Empire and helping to develop new weapons. There are several days before an all-important meeting in the Sky City of Horizon take place, and the party have various matters that they wish to attend to uh, and that is where we join us if you are brand new to high rollers welcome uh we can see that there's quite a few folks watching probably from the front page of twitch well welcome to you uh we are playing fifth edition D, &D. we've been playing for about five years nearly now uh and we have a lot of fun uh it's very chaotic and it's a big mess um, and you're going to love it. And you can go and check out previous episodes on our YouTube channel, or you can watch, listen to us every week on our podcast. And you can listen to all the previous episodes as well on our podcast. That's it from me, nice. the Dungeon Master. Uh, I'm going to throw this over to what? Nothing. Please Nothing? continue. You good? I will. <laughs> yes. uh, well, I am going to basically, we're going to kick things off. It is a fresh new day as you guys have taken a long rest um, in the Sky City. There are rooms that have been set aside for you, uh, but you also have access to the Storm Chaser if you wish to rest there or in Lucius's uh, hidden base that is located beneath uh, one of the noble family's estates. Um, I can Sky City land a cold, city. hard concrete floor yeah. <laughs> of the yeah, empty yeah. base. <laughs> Empty base. I mean, you could do that. I'm assuming you are not. Uh, no. But yeah. Uh, I believe the last thing that had taken place was Nova had used the dream spell to contact her mum um, uh, and had had a very wholesome conversation, uh, as well as a very foreboding warning to take information to one of her professors. Um, but none of the rest of you know about that. And instead, you wake up to a fresh new day in the sky city of Gusthaven. What would you like, like to do? I'd probably mm. uh, wake up and then try and organize a officer's meeting in the captain's mm. quarters so that we could get our plans underway. Okay. So, so basically um, taking everyone to the Storm Chaser and arranging a meeting uh, in the ship as it's being repaired, basically. Yeah, I'll, I'll wake up early for once and I'll okay. be knocking on everybody's doors. Come on! Up time, everybody. We have so much to do. I'm see you in the captain's quarters, okay? Perfect. You get I'll get tea. Nothing. You maybe get like a growl from Aylo's room, <laughs> an angry growl. An angry growl, but it's at least a recognition that they someone is alive in there. Mm -hmm. um, That's something. The sentry just like open the door straight away, just there immediately. Oh. Hello, sentry. Yes, we just... Hello. Okay, I didn't need to knock, did How I? How did you sleep? You feeling rested? Uh, I think so. Uh, probably a bit broken, uh, but uh, we need we need to do things. We we must okay. think of the the day ahead. We've got a lot to do. Short space of yes. time, you know all that. Uh, do you want to sort the teas or coffees, or shall I shall I do it this time? I I can do it. I can help Howard. I can run to Just the don't drink coffee before, made. if you remember. Yes. The yeah, tray I'll, and the shaking. The consumption on on the low scale this time. Perfect. Uh, I'll see you there. See you at the like down the end of the corridor, like I'm walking out of my room. Like you don't need to knock for me. I heard you talking to Sentry. I'll be upstairs. Bye. Okay. With my so wicked perception. <laughs> <laughs> see through the wall. Your epic, uh, <laughs> stupidly epic perception. So while you, so you guys have been staying on the Storm Chaser. Is that the idea that you guys have been resting on the Storm Chaser? Um, so, so for Nova and Ayla, who are the more late risers, um, it is not long after Lucius's knock that hammering, uh, soaring, uh, the shouts and cries of labor workers is undergoing as oh, yeah. the storm chaser <laughs> is being repaired as it is in dock, uh, the cloud <laughs> harbor district. 
Um, so oh. as you are trying to rest, soon there is like, bam, 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 vroom, soaring, <laughs> shouting. You can hear, um, uh, uh, you can hear Sprocket of Lillian Sprocket, uh, the two gnomish <laughs> builders, like, yes, yes, this way, bring, bring it in. We need to, we'll get real building the mast. I need four, four workers on this district. Like kind of shouting orders and things, just as like, uh, this fine, just pay top, top goal. I Come will... on, let's move on. Glare out the window. And you just see like red hair, just, just like it's yeah. it's it's just, like all out of its braids and everything. Just glare at whoever is the closest worker Walking out on. the window. Yeah, you just you see like, uh, bridges have been set up to bring on like lumber and um, planks and things like that to begin repairing the hull. Um, and you see quite a few very uh, nervous-looking humans and elves uh, bringing things on as they're looking at this very angry face surrounded by a mane of red hair. Um, but they are, uh, nonetheless, continue no, their just, work just, as it goes about. Just a little... And then I'll just walk up to meet <laughs> Lucius and Quill. Sure. Um, the, the captain's quarters is one of the few rare locations on the ship that wasn't as badly damaged as the rest of the hull so whilst there is still repairs going on and it's still noisy um you can still all gather in the captain's quarters in the war room uh which is adjacent to it on the main deck of the storm chaser itself um in terms of if you've called an officer's meeting lucius gray lano your medic araya uh and would both be there as well to represent their positions on the ship. Um, but the rest of the crew, people like Howard, Kamara, um, are all out. No, Kamara would also be there. Uh, Kamara, who's the head of kind of like your general crew, uh, is also there. This kind of woman um, with wolf ears, like a big shaggy gray mane of hair, but with wolf ears and a wolf tail, um, kind of looking uh, kind of very kind of hairy forearms, um, very bestial in nature, um, is stood there, arms folded, waiting along with everyone else. The air and the kind of uh, the weather around Gusthaven is kept perpetually calm and peaceful by the magic of the, ski the sky city itself. So it's just blue skies that you can see outside, warm, pleasant air and weather. Um, and yeah, it is a very uh, yeah, pleasant day otherwise. It's Apart from all the banging here, yeah. and... <laughs> um, I guess like... like as if Lucius was to ask that, as he asks that, um, the door slowly opens, and Nova's kind of just hanging off of the door handle, half dressed, like her arms like half out of her jacket, and on, and her shirts untucked of her pants and her hair, like her hair's so she's an Arganasi, so her hair is kind of quite wispy and cloud-like anyway, but it would probably almost look like a storm, like it's just frazzled like, and out I everywhere, and yeah, and it's just, Morning. Morning. Oh, oh, Nova. Bad night? Sleep? I don't know why you insist on having early morning meetings. I am not an early oh, this morning is the first. person. First in a long while. Uh, it's only because we have, you know, uh, a crisis that could potentially <laughs> end a row. It's not a big deal. Can we stop the hammering for a second? Uh, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna stop. I glared at them pretty hard earlier, and they're just they they were not phased, and it angered me more. If I'm honest, you did put in a request when... to have the ship repaired, Captain. Uh, we I could did probably forget. ask them to stop, but yes, uh, they Let, are let's go the to ship. the let's go to the local inn and maybe have a chat there with a bit of yes, that's that probably would be advisable. Yes, I okay. think. we were supposed to were we not supposed to go somewhere specific for breakfast so that um. Yep. People yep. could. So that yep. I could use Let's my eyes. Let's go there. To find out. Yeah. We, I mean, we could go there. We um, need to go to the breakfast place to do the thing. I need to do a task, actually. I need to go to a shop. So I'm going to do okay. that. Okay. How about you guys know the drill, right? You know the plan. We can discuss it further at the place we're going to. I'll inform Araya and Greylana and co of the current situation and catch you up. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, well, Just so good. that we're not wasting time. I'm really conscious of time. Time is a construct. Let's go. This yes. Very early for you, Lucius. Okay, someone dress me. But... I think I put my foot in my jacket. I don't know what you is have. up. You have. You have. I need help. Just send you just hand over help. a coffee really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it make you feel better? <laughs> uh, 
she tries to reach it, but like the trousers are over her hand, and it's just disaster. I'll just, just I'll pull her jacket on for her. Just come on, look, come on. It's not so bad. Thanks, love. So Thanks, my love. understanding is, so, Lucius, you're gonna bring Graylano, Kamara, and Araya up to speed on the things you discovered yesterday about like the Ethereum manufacturing and stuff like that. Is that the yes, plan? Yes, and our like motive to try and find the source of it, mm -hmm. get some information from this guy we're about to snoop in on, see if we can mm -hmm. find the location of it, and potentially find evidence or at least maybe to try and stop a threat or see if there is a threat that sort of okay. thing all right cool uh Ayla, i'll be pretty open go... with it as well yeah, be, be open with the three officers okay great that's good to know actually um so you, while you're doing that the meanwhile quill uh, and ayla you're gonna head into the trade district which is where um Bellinor magrona had said that he would try and bring his brother democles who is this person that he suspects and uh, lucius's sister uh, Adea suspects is connected to the Cloud Barons and the Valkyrian Empire. Um, and there's like a little cafe that you can find there. And Ayla, you said you wanted to go do some shopping, and I know what you're going to go get as well. Um, okay. Uh, and then Sentry and Nova, I'm assuming Sentry helps Nova get dressed, and then you'll follow uh, Quill and Ayla? Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, have we lost Kim? Yeah, we have. <laughs> it's just not moving so i'll leave it there. all right so a couple of things go down um while you're making all of this ayla uh it's it's not hard to find a tailor um that will be able to do what you want uh if that's what we discussed last time um it won't cost you that much money they will be it will be a replica obviously it will it will just be their best approximation of a kind of sewn pattern rather than a you know a proper proper one um, and it will probably take them at least a day to make it fully. Um, but it would run you probably sort of like for a little kind of like little like sashes almost. Maybe sort of like 10 gold for all of it. It won't be that much with what they've got available. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I will, I will do that. Can I see if there's a way that I don't have to leave my piece there? Yes. Can I, I be like, that, can I just stay I until that, you yeah, get there? They, you find, um, they would probably be a high elf tailor um, who is very perplexed when this uh, wild elf walks in. Um, but when you explain the job and you show them the thing that you'd like them to make, um, they do seem to be somewhat interested and they take notes and diagrams. Um, they sketch it. So you have to wait there while they're kind of sketching the pattern. And then they're like, yes, I, I think that I have um, enough of what I need. Uh, you you don't need to leave it here with us if it's that important to you. But yes, come back tomorrow um, and I should have this uh, done by then. Thank, thanks. Thank you. I um, yes, uh, appreciate really, that. Really, don't really want to uh, leave it behind. Uh, no, yes. Um, uh, please uh, do make sure you um, just wipe your feet uh, just before you come back in uh, next time. Uh, Sawdust. I'm going to be honest. I might, I might not remember, but I'll try my very best. Thank you. That would be appreciated. Uh, yes. Thanks. And then you see him Thanks. just kind of wave over a younger, a young boy, and he's like, sweep all that sort of stuff. <laughs> and the young boy's like, yeah, okay, and start sweeping it all up behind you as you leave. Um, cool. All right. Uh, so Ayla kind of like drifts off from the party as you do that. Sentry, when you are leaving the Storm Chaser and the docks, um, I think that a mixture of Quill and Helios would make you aware of this. Um, you notice a group of six guardians um, who look like they're laborers or maybe guards for the docks watching you. They are watching you quite intently as you come off the ship and you begin making your way with your friends towards the trade districts. Like they stop what they're doing and they're like turning and, and looking at you as you make your way across. Um... I'll, I'll just I'll wave at them. Just like friendly, like, okay. hello! <laughs> uh a few of them kind of seem surprised um two of them snap military salutes to you um a couple of them just look a bit perplexed and a bit confused uh, one of them folds their arms looking at them they look to be almost all of them you would recognize probably as being soldiers of some sort um mm. 
Uh, you can see that two of them carry weapons. Uh, one of them appears to be more of a laborer. Um, but they were all designed in kind of combat style, similar to how you were, like, built as a soldier. Um, and other guardians have been built for being, like, laborers or protectors, um, you know, f you know, foot soldiers. These these six guardians, and there's kind of a mixture of, like, body types and sizes, um, but they all appear to at least be combat, the like, military guardians um, in some way. Um, and they kind of snap salutes back or wave back, and they just continue watching you when you, you head off with your friends. Um, uh, mm. They're definitely taking notice of you. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll just mention to Quill, I, th I think I need to go and speak to those at some point. It's odd, I haven't seen a group of large guardians like that since Kelly's, Kelly's rest, I don't think. I, I mean, all of them immediately see what you are, Sentry. Uh, I think it's a it's surprise to see the prime a <clears throat> moving around and b waving hello jovially at them in Gusthaven. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes I forget, <laughs> you know. Sometimes I don't. I don't. I I don't realize what what I am, and it's I'm still learning. I, I think well, maybe this is an opportunity for me to. To perhaps show them what I am, and maybe maybe they could be useful. Yeah, ground yourself in their eyes, but also a good way to, I guess, remember the power that you have over the guardians, uh, the people of your kind. They'll follow you, no matter what. I well, hope so. We don't know about Breeze necessarily, but true. I mean, they know who you are. They know you're the prime, and. It's a sign of respect. I've spent so long being the follower, you know, following orders. It's it's odd that one day I may have to be the one giving them as well. If you do leader. meet those four, treat them treat that as an exercise of leadership. I'll be there with you to help you out. Okay. I'll give it a try. Cool. Um Everybody at some point, uh, you know, every, going about your business, uh, Lucius, you quickly catch up to the rest of the party, having brought the others in. Um, Kamara, before you leave, Lucius, Kamara. Uh, Captain, <clears throat> if I can give this to you, I was going to give it to Quartermaster Quill, but as he seems to have rushed off into town before I had the chance, I've put together uh, a list of equipment and costs for the wolf pack and I. Uh, better Ooh. armor, better weapons, that sort of thing. Right. Oh, let's have a look. A little scrap of paper. Um, her handwriting is not the neatest. Uh, it is quite scratchy, similar to Ayla's handwriting. Uh, <laughs> big, bold strokes. Uh, but basically, it lists um, sets of armor, two two different sets of armor um, with different prices for the whole wolf pack and different weapon um, outsets as well. Um, if you go with a more expensive armor, which is like a mixture of metal breastplates and sort of like leather... Um, like shoulders and, and greaves and things like that it'll probably come to for the whole wolf pack is about 4,000 gold but it will give them an AC of 17 uh, or you can go for the cheaper set which is 2,000 gold um, it gives them an AC of 16 um, so it's uh, you know a, a cheaper equivalent um, oh, and then for the weapons uh, yeah. it would be 600 gold for the whole wolf pack but that would be equipping them with heavy crossbows pikes so they have reach so if anybody is trying to board the ship they've got like reach um and then short swords as a backup weapon because right now they all just have like um kind of basic spears is all they've really got is this all you've suggested i mean our whole party have enchanted <laughs> weapons and magical things well i wasn't going to go that far I'm, I'm not really i don't really know anything about that sort of thing captain honestly um i mean if we could get those uh those the ones that were with the sorceress the rifles that fire magic if we could get 10 of them obviously we'd want that this is what i know a city like gusthaven will sell but the better stuff you can get us the better um and if We've you have so much money i know nova oh, has <laughs> stored <laughs> well thousands. that's the other thing Captain. if you have more money improving the hull of the ship i mean when we fought that that meteor that she summoned that could have destroyed it i think if we can mm. better armor the storm chaser we'll as long as we can get below decks we we stand a good chance of being able to survive something like that again 
Um, or maybe some way to make it resistant to flames, maybe? That would be my other suggestion. I'll speak with the shipmakers and see if uh, they can do more for us. Good, And I'll good. put the entire bill on Nova. She'll, she'll know what to do with it. Well, that's... Perfect, the, thank yeah. you. Thank you. And yeah, though that is for us, in terms of equipment, that's kind of the things I can think of. But if there is... If you find other enchanted weapons or relics, you know, think of people like Penny and Lookout. They're specialists. They could probably benefit from that stuff. But for Absolutely. the Wolfpack, I think mundane equipment would be bet would be okay. Anything extra you can get would be better. What about like a second enchanted knife or something that all of you could have just in case the first enchanted yes. pike fails? I mean, I, certainly. I, we, I'm not going to say no, Captain. I'm not going to say no at all. Right. Um, maybe I'll note something this down. that could. Another thing which I didn't think to add. Um, maybe something uh, that would enable us to fly. I know that that sounds probably expensive, but mm. uh, if any of the crew were to fall off the ship, having something that could save them, even just oh, temporarily. Yes. Uh, like a one Some sort thing. of emergency thing. Yes, I'm, I, we know Featherfall tokens. Gusthaven have them all the time. That, uh, that it'd be good hard. to stock up on those, actually. We, I think we've run out. <laughs> so, yes. thank you for Something the reminder. Like all right, but well, thank you, it, Captain. It, maybe uh, we, uh, Nova has managed to repair Quill's wing. Maybe there's someone that could take her blueprints and manufacture all of your wings. I mean... I'll think about it. That sounds incredible. Yes, something like that we need would you be... At your peak... Yes. All right. I'll yes. see what I can do. I'm sure we can all stretch right. the finances for it all. Very well. Thank you, Captain. I'll salute. Salute's back. Uh, and yeah, and then uh, with that encounter, um, everybody meets up. Uh, there is a small cafe, uh, which is called The Swan's Grace. <laughs> and it's like a little <laughs> oh. cafe. It's swan's like a very confirmed rich... canon. Can it... Well, but what is a swan? You don't know oh, what a swan is yet. Could be a bird. Uh, it's a it's a flying <gasps> bird. One. <laughs> uh, no, so it's like a, a very fancy cafe that sits in the tech trade district of Gusthaven. Um, and it looks out on the main street that leads down to the Aethagora, this huge kind of marketplace of magic items and scrolls and spell books and things like that. Um, just in front of a, a very delicate little fountain, uh, which has statues of the founding elves of uh, the city of Gusthaven. Um, and yeah, uh, you. this is the place that uh, Belenor Malgrona said to set yourselves up and wait Um but no sign of him so far. Um, and so Lucius and Ayla are probably the last ones to join Quill, Sentry, and Nova um, as you guys all meet up. Um, hey! I got your breakfast in advance. I, uh, oh, lovely. I, I just guessed what you liked. I'm going to be honest, we haven't seen each other eating much, so... Uh, <laughs> well, cool. what, tell us, Tom. No, Tom, what, tell us, what have you bought for everyone? What's on the menu? Uh, <laughs> no. I was gonna be smooth. It would be. Uh, I got you all noodles. <laughs> that would be a difficult Wrong one campaign. to have. That's uh, uh, it would be a difficult one to have because uh, there's not as much wheat on the Sky Cities. It would probably be things like fish from the Sky Lake. Um, so they have like fish from uh, eggs uh, and fruits would probably be like a common thing in Gusthaven. Uh, I'll get Lucius some fruit. I'll get Ayla a load of fish. I'll get Nova <laughs> some some more fish. More eggs. <laughs> and Ayla and uh, Sentry just gets a warm plate. Yeah, do you have, have like a of... Will does yeah. not have eggs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. Just a bowl of seeds. Bro, um... pecking, pecking at the bowl oh, of seeds. Some fish. We could go for some yeah. fish. Oh, yeah, okay. Some cuttlefish. Dried cuttlefish, yeah. Raw, raw um, and slippery about... or cooked? Don't even cook them. Just give them to me alive, like a pelican. <laughs> <laughs> chuck it in there. Just chuck it in there. Um, How much would that be, actually? <laughs> Shit. Lucius comes up to the table, and he hands Quill a scribbled-on note on top of the notes already put there. Um, a few like extra little like drawings and stuff of like a, a pike with like lightning and stuff coming out of it um a little wolf with like mechanical wings sprouting out times 150 and then 
price equals three question marks, smiley face, little Lucia smiley face. Do you mind sorting this out for me, uh, Quill and Nova? I'm sure you have the finances under control, but Quartermaster Quill, <laughs> this is more your thing, right? We need to deck it's... out everybody with the most defenses we can possibly get. And they want to fly. And you were thinking a hundred lightning spears? You want, you well, want me was... to recreate this? My spear? No, no. <laughs> no, that would be silly. Everyone should have enchanted pikes. How much do you think enchanting a pike would cost? A uh, few hundred, uh, uh, two gold. No, more. Much, much. Three. I'll, I'll look at Kamara's list and then we'll consider the extras. Um, very nice drawings, though. Thank you. Very nice. I had to do them en route. Um, <laughs> they're a bit anatomically incorrect, um, and I'm not entirely sure that you've really considered uh, mass times weight and physic you know, physically, if you really were to give them these kind of wings, the wheels would plummet out the sky. They, they need bigger wings. Um, you haven't really compensated for that factor in there. Yeah, Quill's got mm, little white yeah. hollow bones. A lot of fur. Why can, the wolf, tuned out. why can the wolf pack fly and I can't? Come on, none of us can fly. We got one person flying fly. and you're talking about I mean, making 150 wolves fly. All, first of all, we don't have 150 wolves. Uh, Second of all, if, why can the wolves fly and not me? If you, if you want it, I have Lady Dusk Willow's ring. I, I can't use it anymore. You can cast fly with that. Neither can I. <laughs> Too many Ayla, things. Ayla, Ayla wouldn't be able to use it. It needs to be attuned by a spellcaster. I'm I can dumb. cast fly oh. on you. I can cast fly on you, Ayla. If you really want to fly, I can make you fly. It's more about the wingsuit sets. Like when... The point is, why do the wolves fly and not us? Okay, I'm gonna well... Use my fish well the wolves now. are not flying. If these if these diagrams are anything to go by, the schematics are very poor. Like The wolves are not flying with this, frankly. The, the wolves are falling. And falling faster because they've got heavy metal attached to their heavy Meanwhile, bodies. Meanwhile... A high elven waiter is just kind of stood behind all of you. <clears throat> Would anyone care for any more water? <laughs> so oh, yes. yes. And is how, it how filtered? How much was for the food, by the way? Um, my uh, it would come to something like two gold for the food. Okay, <laughs> back up, and I put the replica chest on the floor, and then expand it. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please, uh, no conjuration in the premises. Uh, oh no, uh, this is my wallet, uh, and I open it up. There's twenty-four thousand gold in there. Just <laughs> pull out one little coin, two coins. There you go. Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> And then I'll secret chest it back again into a small thing. I've wanted to do that for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple, right? We have a an airship that has a crew of I don't know how I I'd never I I didn't take count. How many of the Wolfgang do we have? Well there is approximately give or take mark quick 100 uh, around one, about mark 120 uh if he doesn't give me a number i'm going to say there's 500 and then that becomes canon cuz no will master would know <laughs> that's not how it works <laughs> oh, it's 10 it's 10 it's 10 <laughs> wait that's it we can totally stretch that um there's 10 10 <laughs> <laughs> God, ten. I thought there was hundreds. <laughs> so not hundreds. No, there was at least like thirty. I thought, but not. No, it was just it was ten. No, it was ten. Ten wolf pack, and then no, you've got like other yeah. and Howard and Lansky, yeah. and yeah, exactly. Yeah. but Kamara's <laughs> yeah. just talking about the wolf pack. She's just outfitting the wolf pack. I just see like groups of two Wolfgang like going around and then coming back around. Like, there's another two. <laughs> you don't even remember their oh faces. <laughs> Hello. It's not you Kamara partied with them. Yeah, that's you the socialized with them. You got married to one of them. This is a Chris Trot era, not a Lucius era. Uh, <laughs> while this, well, as you are, as this debate is going on, uh, Quill, you would know, you would see. Um, uh, Belenor Malgrona and his brother Democles. Uh, oh. Belenor is a very tall, very athletic, um, very muscular high elf, uh, a famous sky jouster in the city. Um, you can see that he draws a lot of attention when he moves past. Next to him, um, his brother would look unassuming. Um, he is average height, um, doesn't particularly stand out as handsome, um, 
very plain kind of dark hair kept short um eyes you know like all high elves are just a single color um, but just of a pale blue um dressed very nondescript or looking more like an accountant uh than anybody else um and is kind of in hushed conversation next to uh Bellinor. um seems to be scribbling in some sort of journal as they are walking along um they seem to just be making a very quick pass through the trade district um and Bellinor seems to be pointing at a nearby store and talking about some sort of business deal um about was, maybe purchasing the store or something like that i was hoping we'd have some time to talk about what the question i was going to ask was but i spent so much time in, in, in biggening this chest and then re-smallifying it <laughs> um God oh, damn it. In that case, I will use the Eye of the Storm to sure. ask... I mean, you have, them you have like... I would say you have, like, a couple of minutes before they leave the check... Like, before that... Oh, okay. Like, a couple of minutes. Yeah, you've nice. got, like, a couple of minutes, yeah. Is okay, that, I'm, pretty that sure that, I'm pretty sure that's Democles. Um, I mean, I could, I could okay. message him to confirm it, just so I don't, you know, waste... Magical. Um, Lu Lucius would know that What's that's Democles. Lucius, yeah. Lucius would recognize. Yeah, right. Lucius would recognize it as Democles. That's him. That's definitely him. Okay. okay. So, so we're trying to find uh, his entrance into the, his teleportation uh, circle into his secret weapons facility. I need do to get the correct to do it right now. I mean, you've seen him, right? Uh, he needs to be present when he uses the. Okay. Go. 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 What's the question? What's the question? What's the question? Stop panicking. What is? What is? <laughs> That little shit up to. Nailed it. No, because that could be anything. That, could, that might just show me him drawing in his little bookie. What um, is Democles the little shit up to? Fix it. How do... Oh, my God. How do we get access to your secret weapons facility? That work? Could, uh, yes. Could work. Could work. Could work. Show... We don't yeah. know if he has a secret uh, weapons facility, though, do we? What... What's Democles' project? What what is he working on? It might be into knitting. It, it could, might show me it, it could be into knitting. Oh god. That sounds delightful. <laughs> he sounds like a lovely guy, I'm sure. But yeah. in this headcanon that we've created for this guy, he makes weapons. Okay. It's weaponry. Yes. We can assume weaponry. that it's Ethereum fueled, so we could uh, bring it down to that nuance if you you're the Ethereum project. Okay, okay. Gone weapon um, project. Maybe... Where is the teleportation circle and what's the coordinates for it? D I'm going to look uh, at them, please. And... Yeah. Teleportation They're going to be out of line of sight momentarily. Okay, I'll look at Democles and ask, how do we get access? No, wait. Yes, how do we get access to your secret Ethereum weapon facility? Okay. Quill, the, your vision turns cloudy. Once again, you see the flash of lightning and in the, the white of the light, your vision seems to race. It races through the streets of Gusthaven, winding its way through the packed in tight but very clean streets of the Sky City, winding its way towards the noble district, finding a large, well-defended walled estate Controlled by guards in the Magrona family outfit. You make your way through the door, passing through it as if it was nothing. The vision twists and turns down several corridors, making its way deep down into a basement cellar where there is a secret door set into the flooring um, of plain unfurnished stone. It passes through the floor into a corridor that leads down into a large study. Set into the study is a circle of runes arranged in a certain uh, configuration. Um, the runes glow in a certain sequence um, that flashes in your mind. Um, you see eight <laughs> symbols flashing up from amidst the, the ring of different arcane scripts. Um, eight different runes light up. <laughs> there is a flash of light, and then you appear in a another place into another room uh that uh, seems similar to the first almost like a study and then the vision fades as that reveals exactly what you asked for Another so i see there. the runes being entered right like that's that's pretty much what you i see, needed you see the eight runes lighting up yes um 
Now, do teleportation circles need a particular order for the... Do I see the order of the, the co coordinates, or mm -hmm. is it just yep. eight rooms? Okay, good. It's like putting in a telephone number. It's like, you know, 07349 da 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 um, Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, the question is, is, as the vision ends, as the kind of flash of lightning returns and your vision snaps back to the present, what does Quill do? What do I do? I, I mean, in the same way, uh, I know it happens in an instant, but I'll, yeah, uh, really rapidly say, I've got the coordinates, it's in the McGregor Strait, uh, no, 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 I'm going to fly up and uh, see if I can kind of really quickly trace, like, the uh, the route. Uh, wait, wait, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so as you fly up, you, yeah, begin, you can definitely follow the path. Um, you can see the house easily. Make an intelligence check for me. Uh, roll oh. a d20 plus intelligence. Because this uh, is going to take you, if you fly towards the Magruna estate following the route, it will take, you know, a few minutes of your time. 17. As he, 17. As sure. he flaps out, like, goes towards the door, he just can I flies up and cast whoosh. invisibility on him? Like, with that? Sure. Um, yeah, because I think feeling that, like, the Magronas are nearby, like, it would ca cause quite a fuss to see a, a, a very distinct looking oh. Arakokra in, in the sky, so I'll just... A messenger clad um, quickly, Arakokra. Like, I'll touch, uh, touch him on the boot as he goes past. I would and, say um, you, with just a very wing. you just managed to touch him uh, as Quill vanishes from sight as he whoosh, flies up into the air. A few feathers just kind of fluffing to the ground. You do see Belenor and Democles kind of turn around at like the noise of the chair being scraped back and you know, some sort of commotion, but they don't, they just kind of look around. And I don't keep my head down. <laughs> ah, Reactively. okay, cool. Make a stealth check for me, actually. All right. I want to. Is this where it all falls apart? Uh, just straight intelligence? Or a uh, Stealth for you. St it? Stealth, stealth check for oh, you. Oh, of course. That was the wrong one. I get plus two. So here we go. To ten. Ten. Oh. <laughs> uh, perfect. Um, okay. Yeah, you kind of try and you try and kind of like keep your head down or like hide behind sentry and stuff like that. Uh, the Magronas both look around. Um, Democles kind of looks around, almost a little bit more panicked um, than you would have expected. And Belenor seems to speak, say something to him, and then the two of them just continue on their way. Um, Quill, by the time you return, having traced the route, like it. I mean, yeah. It's not really a route necessary route. Finding the Magrona's estate in the Noble District is not difficult. Like, it's visually distinct. Um, you can easily see it. Do you come back to the party? Do you fly back to the party after you found it? I mean, I'm invisible now? I'm yeah. kind of thinking, like, do I want to carry on through? Like, you, you mentioned there was a door that I could go through as if it was nothing. And I'm kind of like, wait, does that mean it's locked? Does that mean it's... Uh... I mean, in the vision... No. You seem to just pass through the door as if it wasn't there. Yeah. Ah. Uh, the main door. This is the main door to the estate. Imagine like a noble's mansion in the city. Sure. Let me just real quick check what my uh, my roles would have been for um, my Portent. thing. You know, the thing. Portent. Nine and a twelve. Nine and a twelve. Nice and in the middle. Yeah. Great. I kind of just want to scout the place out. Um, are there a load of guards? I'll stay flying for now while invisible and just, cool. you know... As soon as action. you enter the air above the Magrona estate, the invisibility drops, as if dispelled. Um, guards begin shouting at you like, Messenger! Not, get out! This is this is Magrona's like, estate. You're not allowed over here. And they begin right. shouting at you to leave. <laughs> Sorry, I only just passed. My bad. Get out! And like you, like we won't warn you again. And they're bringing up like thunderstone rifles and things like that. Um, oh, they geez. are not okay. walking around. I'll we go need to buy him. some of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you can buy thunderstone weapons. Guys. Thunderstone weapons. Yeah, when we accidentally um, kill <laughs> So I, I take it that you divert, or are you I'm still going trying back, to sneak yeah. around? Okay. Um, when you sit back down, you're pretty sure you can remember that rune sequence from the vision. Yeah, yeah, you remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, uh, it was that rune and then that rune and that rune, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're pretty sure you remember it. 
I wrote do you want to write it down or? Yeah. Do you want to write it down or? I mean, I'll write it down now, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. I thought it was like logged in. No. That's the dream spell <laughs> like where dream. you remember it. Dream, dream yeah, is where dream. you automatically remember it. Yeah. The vision, you, fit, you have to remember what you see in the visions. That's just down to your natural memory. No magical assistance yeah. on vision, visions. I'll write it. I'll write you're, it you're pretty, no, but you're pretty sure, though. You're pretty. You, you got it. Yeah, I know. You, I'm a clever you, guy. <laughs> yeah. Bird. 17. I mean, it's not a 20, though, is it? It's not like a 20, but it's pretty good. No. No, it's, it's pretty good, though. <laughs> it's up there. It's it's yeah it's up there right Kim I mean just you know I'm sure if Nova had made it what what would Nova have gone probably would have remembered it though yeah I don't want to go to space memory. again Quill no <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> holy shit I mean how certain am I like I said you're pretty no yeah you definitely got it right yeah like 90, 99, I mean, if there's... 99 <laughs> If we're super desperate, Nova could scry on that bad boy. Um... <laughs> well, scrying, scrying is only in the in the moment, though. Like yeah. you can't do the yeah, same yeah, thing yeah. with the eye, where like the yeah. the eye is showing things that scrying wouldn't necessarily reveal. Um, I mean, but you could definitely, if you scryed on him whilst he was using whilst he was casting well, he the spell, was, yeah. Nova, then you would be able to get it. Yes, that's true. If we're super um, yeah. desperate, then I'll just use the eye again when we're there. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, You're pretty sure. sure. <laughs> You're pretty sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. So uh, anti 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 magic. By the way, I'm not invisible anymore. Thanks, Nova, for that. By the way. Um, so I, the moment I got near the place, I was not invisible anymore. I know the route. It's well, it's a Magrona estate, mm. but there are guards there. Um, I, I, the Magrona estate. I could have told. I live here. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't have to make hoping... such a dr drama of it all. I was hoping that I'd Look, be able to... Look, there's a pamphlet with a map over there. <laughs> like, it was fresh in my mind. It was fresh in my mind, and I wanted to see Guys, how much we, of the route I could do. We were just talking to his brother, who could have also told us where it was. You know, just adding to the pile of things that... Uh, I wanted to go it. all the way, not just to the doorway of the place. You can't go alone, and we're trying to remain inconspicuous, Quill. We have to keep, keep on the lowdown. Exactly, I'm a messenger. Flying it's into the air from a seat to a, a cafe, probably not the best idea. It's a good thing Nova touched you. People expect it from an Aracocra messenger. Not from a That's cafe! <laughs> well, then, maybe I picked up a delivery from the cafe! Okay, this will take a minute. Maybe we should reconvene somewhere and enact a plan. We, you've got, you know where it is, right? No idea. <laughs> it's at the McGrunners, I know where that is. <laughs> Oh, why don't you direct me, Lucius? <laughs> <laughs> this is from being pissy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know exactly where it is. Exactly where it is. A hundred percent. Good. Uh, is there any sort of security? Yes, I was. Was it just yeah, hidden? What? What, the, the teleport circle itself? Yes. Yeah. Well, there's okay. guards at the, the doors of the Magronas, for starters. Right. Uh, and also some sort of field that blocked out my invincibility. Invisibility. It looked like it dispelled one. it. It looked like when you got within a certain range of the house, it was like something dispelled any spells on you. Yeah. So, so there's that. We need to infiltrate the Magrona estate. That's what we need to do. How well are these guards? Oh, uh, oh, rifles. We needed some of those. Rifles. Okay. I'll take we two off this list those. that Lucius handed me. Ah, uh, he got Did the we? drawing. <laughs> we could. Uh, we could beat the shit out of the guards and take their rifles. Yeah, save some money, you know. Well, actually, we're oh, going to build a weapons facility. No, we, need to we are going to beat them up, right? Because how are we going to well, get past well, them? Beat them up. We need to remember our I mean... morals here. That these guards are in, just employees. We're not going in there beating everybody up. The Magronas, uh, maybe the the heads of the estate are baddies and naughties, but everyone else is an innocent bystander just doing their job. I mean, if they shoot I... us, they're not innocent bystanders. We are, we are infiltrating their estate illegally. Yeah, well, for they good cause. Us, it's self-defense. I didn't say kill them. Just you know, a little <laughs> pow pow. <Just> the pummeling. 
It's a small pummeling. As Sentry says, as Sentry says, give him the old one-two smackaroo. One-two smackaroo works every time. Most of the time. Sentry! <laughs> Sentry! <laughs> Moral. Sentinel Prime. <laughs> Just give him the old one-two smackaroo. <laughs> When she makes like it sound death. cute like that, it seems like it's the right thing, you see? It seems it's okay. Yeah, yeah it gives you a free pass. <laughs> uh, I, well, could, uh, I could send think the arcane eye and, uh, and tra trail the route that way. Maybe we could distract the guards away from the entrance so that we could then enter. Something like that. I was just thinking oh, we, of scouting. I could, I, could, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could I could, I could make a portal portal that you know d dispel if I look through a window field? from somewhere i i'm not sure if um the dispel field will uh s screw it up uh i need to consider the ramifications but i, mm. d I don't know i can as you are enjoying this fine conversation yeah there is almost like um a pulse of uh pressure and air as a great ship that you all recognize bursts from the clouds beneath Gusthaven and buzzes across the sky city itself. Uh, you can hear what sounds like magical blasts coming from the outer walls of the sky city. Um, as the twin star longbow, the astral <gasps> ship that Thalia uh, had uh, used to help you get back to Erois <laughs> launches over the uh, the sky city of Gusthaven <laughs> itself. Attached to the twin star longbow by a long coiling chain is a smaller airship, like a skiff. Smaller than the Storm Chaser, but bigger than sort of like a normal, um, like a, a, a patrol vessel, like a small boat. Um, is a, a is a airship uh, upon which are some uh, mysteriously clad figures, followed by another ship with similar figures. Uh, you can see blasts of magic seem to radiate up from the walls of the city in their direction, and the three ships um, are in, engaged in some sort of maneuvers. Um, one of them has attached itself to the twin star with this like long chain like device. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Um, Nova immediately stands up, sits down, stands up, sits down, bangs her knees on the table. Thalia is here, sits down, stands up, tries to run out, the door falls over. Okay, lovely. And I'm going to leave her there. Uh, should we maybe go and see if we can help them out? Lucius, is there anything we can uh, use to, uh, to fly uh, right now? Cool, send a message to Thalia. To Thalia? I was going to send a message to Sky Prince to cancel the attack. Or the defences. Uh, who are do they? Both? Can you do them both? Is it the defenses or is that pirates? That's the barons! You see the twin star kind of caves around and, and loops down beneath uh, Gusthaven itself. And these th these two pursuing ships um, seem to keep pace, uh, one of them attached. Um, and yeah, you do hear like more. Okay, like... yes. Sky Prince, yes, do, do that. Okay, I'll s you sending on him, tell him to not attack the... Windstar, sleek black ship, cool looking. Don't shoot. Shoot the other ones. Wind barons, maybe. Cloud barons, perhaps. Okay. Um, within a within a moment, you do get back a response of. Uh, I don't know what. Um, I was going to have one of my mages message you. Is this ship with you? The the ones pursuing it are cloud barons. They appear to be trying to capture it. Sure, I'll cast sending again. Uh, new ship is with us. It's an ally. Uh, don't shoot that one. Shoot the wind barons. Uh, Cloud barons. We're attempt our, the city defenses are attempting to take it down, but we're having problems with our own ships. None of them seem to be flying. Sabotage. There's not much. Yes. He just says, like, if this is a friend of yours, they're trying to capture them. Is the, is we the need to send to word right to Araya. Maybe we can get Penny on the, the weapons and, and an assist or something. Uh, well, okay. at this point, my friends, um, yeah, I'm going to ask you to roll initiative. Oh, my God. damn. Just the five of us on the ground. 
watching a cool ass fight going on up there. Ah, oh, um, Nova is vibrating. <laughs> Just like I need woo! to do something and I can't Ooh. do anything. Yikes. Once I got initiative, Yikes. I'll give you uh, the next kind of scene as things kick off. Uh, sure. Lucius, <clears throat> initiative, please. 19. 19. Kilek. Four. Four. Ayla. 18. 18. Sentry. Five. Five. No. <laughs> <laughs> 18. 18. Okay. So to set the scene a little bit more, I'm. Um, these two ships, these two smaller patrol uh, airships, one of them is attached to the Twin Star, and you can see the Twin Star is trying to shake it loose. Uh, the are uh, the cannons that you have, you know that the the Twin Star has these kind of like um, set, you know, gunner positions, are not firing for whatever reason. They do not mm. appear to be firing back. Instead, it's using very aggressive maneuvers to try and shake this chain loose, um, but no, to, seemingly to no avail. You can see yeah. on the ship that's attached to the Twin Star, there are a group of humanoid figures in these head-to-toe, like, uh, leather suits with, like, built-in, like, um, breathing masks. Almost like, uh, like old 1940s pilots where they had, like, the big masks attached to their flight suits kind of thing. Um, you can see that they have these bandoliers covered with metal orbs similar to the explosives they used to attack you the last time you were here on Gusthaven. And several of them are now trying to crawl up this chain to get to the, the Twin Star itself uh, um, as it's being brought in. The other ship has, has kind of um, twisted away from the chase and is now trying to take down Gusthaven's own uh, like air defenses, these kind of magical ballista Damn. it has to defend the town almost like um uh like uh bombing runs like they're kind of like trying to take out these towers cause as much destruction and chaos and then veer off um those of you i'd say that probably sentry uh ayla maybe nova you would probably recognize this more as a diversionary tactic they're trying to take the attention away from the the ones trying to get on the twin star so one ship is trying to keep the city's defenses busy whilst the other one focuses on trying to capture the twin star um Lucius, you are reacting first. Uh, the ship is moving around so much that uh, some on your turns, it will basically, you know, make sweeping passes over the city that you'll still be able to like do stuff towards the the ship itself if you want to. Imagine that it's oh. constantly flying and moving past and things like that. Okay. So, if I know that it's going to come within the vicinity of a spell. Yeah. Is it yeah, like to do that? Yeah, that's like my what I mean is that you could ready an action and say next time it buzzes past, I want to cast a spell or do something like that. I mean, it's going to be long range, like you're probably talking about like 300 feet um, or something like that. But it's it's. I've only got a 90 range. foot range on some of these things, yeah. so 100. If you got up to 100. like a roof, if you got up to like a roof of some of the buildings around Gusthaven, you might be able to get within 90 feet. Okay. I will look for the closest building with an external staircase that I could run up. And okay. Yeah, try I'll and probably assist. take like I'll probably take a full turn of you like running up that and then trying to begin I'll, slowly um, making your way up the stairs. Shout to Quill to I'm sorry, but you might need to send another message to the Storm Chaser to get them to arm themselves and help out. Uh, I'll try and get in range and try and knock them off. And that's what I'm okay. doing as I'm scaling. Preparing so a away. chromatic orb uh, of lightning, just in case it is conducted through the metal and trying to okay. aim for that chain. Okay. The chain that's connecting it to the twin star itself. Itself, cool. to like okay. shock them off. So Lucius <laughs> begins like running up this outward stair. You can see that the buildings in Gusthaven are, are stacked quite tall and a lot of them have like stairways on the outside in case of like they need, you know, fires and emergencies. Um, you begin ch -ch -ch trying to make your way up to the top of one of those. Um, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you can see that the two ships, uh, these figures, uh, the crew on one of the ships that's trying to distract the towns, uh, the, the city itself, the city defenses, are leaning over the sides. You can see that most of them are equipped with 
uh, what appear to be short bows or like crossbows, um, and they're firing down at the city defenders and things like that. One of the ships is beginning to turn and is going to make a strafing run on the trade uh, district itself, so where Jeez. you guys currently are. Um, and it has like ballistas and everything else. Um, on the ship that is trying to pursue the Twin Star, three of these uh, figures are going to try and climb out on the train to reach the Twin Star itself. One of them immediately, um, the Twin Star jerks suddenly, and one of these uh, Cloud Barons is thrown off and just sails up, you know, over the side of the city, basically. Um, the other one, following behind him, does manage to get uh, a good grip and is shimmying along the chain um, about, about halfway. The next one also goes flying off. So as they're kind of making their way down, these erratic, sharp turns by Thalia are causing the, uh, the guys to lose their grip and go flying off. But one of them, at least, has made it almost halfway uh, towards the Twin Star. Uh, Ayla. Um, so I will probably say to them, I can get that chain off if I can get up there. If any of you guys can make me fly, that'd be awesome. Then I'm gonna, for the moment, rage, and I'd like to uh, take a couple of shots if I can, if it gets within range at the people on the chain with the uh, with There's my only one guy longbow. Left on the chain now. Yeah. So you pull out the longbow the and you you wait for the the twin star to kind of bank um and it's drawing in closer to the tech trade district and you can just see and it's going to be at disadvantage because this is going to be a long range ayla um but you can see this one figure who's like halfway across the chain you can see one of these ethereum spheres in his hand um yeah you can try and take two shots uh, disadvantage though okay um my nine is my lowest so 19 to hit 19 even at the long range um and with the kind of difficulties of hitting the target the the one yeah the arrow does strike the figure you kind of like okay. the arrow spins through the air and just manages to glance them mm. uh it's not as much damage obviously uh five six seven 12 damage altogether 12 damage <laughs> The arrow flies through um, and impales through one of these uh, leather-clad, you know, uh, I guess, uh, pirates. Um, just sinks into their side, nearly causing them to let go of the chain. Uh, but you can see it heavily injures them um, as they're trying to crawl along. Not quite dead, though. I'll take another shot. Uh, probably won't hit, though, because I rolled two. Um, so 12 to hit, it's that one. That's not going to just sails past unfortunately but the Ooh. first one you can see um as the as the banking does get close enough you know, if you squint you can see that they're heavily injured as they're still shimming along um cool all right uh nova um does the twin star ever get within 500 foot of where you could, we you are could, you could hold an action like yeah it will come within 500 feet of you at some point yeah um, it looks like okay. Thalia is trying to keep the ship above the city itself, like getting as close as she can, and then only banking away when she needs to. Okay. Um, I'll just shout at everyone. I'm going up there on the ship. She needs us. If anyone, I, if one person wants to come with me, grab my hand, and then I will hold my action to uh, cast Dimension Door so that I can Dimension Door myself and one whoever touches my hand first um, sure, we'll make up it on whoever onto the Twin Star. Though. Okay, sure, yeah, we'll make and, it on that. Uh, yep. Once we're in a range, yeah. Okay. Um, um, yeah. So, two things happen while you're holding that action. So, Nova, you keep in mind you're concentrating because when you hold the spell, you're concentrating on the spell. Um, as you guys do this, I'm just going to get my notes up on what the the spells I swapped out for. Uh, you see on the two different ships, one of them is chasing after the Twin Star and the other one is basically attacking Gust Haven. That ship is being attacked by these kind of uh, turrets, like ballistas on the top of like the city walls is shooting at that one and things like that. Uh, you do, however, see that on the deck, um, there appears to be one of these figures in one of these kind of like leather flight suits. Um, you can see bands of metal around their wrists and they begin conjuring a spell. They begin casting magic spells. Uh, one of them will do, 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 uh, 
Uh, one of them grabs one of their companions and they vanish. And you would recognize the spell uh, Nova as Dimension Door. Uh, and they and they appear on the top of the twin star, like holding on to it. And you can see them beginning to, you know, plant something on, on the ship itself oh, sure. um, as they do so. The uh, one on the ship that's attacking the tech trade district, uh, as it's passing by, um, it will see the group of you. It will see Quill, uh, Sentry, um, and Ayla. And uh, as it passes, as the ship passes, a bolt of lightning <laughs> passes down in a line. Can the three of you make deck saving throws, please? Oh, are they within Sentry. 10 feet of me? They are within 10 feet of you and 10 feet of Sentry's or as well. So you take half so. damage from the lightning from me and I get advantage on this save because it's a dex. Yeah, oh, you I get plus three for every save for Sentry, sense. right? You plus do. three, yeah. Um... Unbreakable. <laughs> yeah, you guys are um, very strong. 19. They're alive, Nin damn it. 19. 19 Miracle. for Ayla? 19. Lucius? <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, Quill? I'm not him. Uh, I got yeah. 20. 20, Sentry? 15. 15, okay, you all take half damage. Uh, because of lightning resistance, and then I believe half damage again because of Sentry's aura, which is half damage against spells, yes? Yeah. <laughs> and half oh, yeah. damage against lightning mm -hmm. from me. Yep. So, that's going to be 10. 19. Did any of us actually pass the save? Yeah, you all did. <laughs> oh, so, wow, okay. It's like nice. half, half, half. Uh, just a 16th of damage, it's fine. 29. <laughs> uh, 38 damage normally. So half of 38 is... Uh, 19. 19. 19. Half of 19 is... Nine and a half. Nine. Half of nine is four and a half. Four. You will take four. four points of lightning damage. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> as it's kind of like a combination, right? So as the ship is passing over the head of you, uh, this lightning bolt kind of... And it, it sends like chairs and tables flying from the restaurant. Um, but the lightning bolt passes over. Ayla just holds the hammer out. Most of the lightning is absorbed into the hammer through Ayla's body and dissipates. Meanwhile, Sentry raises the shield and all the rest of the lightning is just kind of encapsulated and blasted around you by this anti-magic like magic aura from the, the Matrix. And it just has almost no effect as it passes over you. A giant um, lightning bolt and we're all just... Oh, meh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, sadly, sadly, the the next thing that happens is not as fun for the rest of you. So, uh, the two that teleported to the top of the twin star, one of them slams one of these metal spheres, and you see this kind of explosion oh. of magic just from the twin star's hull. Um, you just see like this erupt. Um, the other ship, which is currently uh, attacking the tr the trade district, the ballista on the ship turns and it will point in your direction almost as if knowing that the group of you are here uh and the ballista will fire uh at into your direction uh there's three of you so i will roll a d6 to determine who we hit uh well, one two three four five six Ayla, this is when the you. um when the when the bomb goes off on the ship you'll just hear nova just scream no yeah uh Ayla, this is going to be a 26 to hit yeah, that might, that might, that might just. What are you going to hit? Uh, that's going to be 15 points of damage, but halved because you're raging. So, seven points. At what point Sweet. is this in range of Lucius's 90 foot chromatic orb? Well, the thing is, is if you wanted to get up to the building, you would have had to have dashed. I didn't know if you okay. wanted to just so move as turn. much as possible. Yeah, well, yeah I, I would probably have to, right? Turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sorry, I, I misunderstood. I thought that you were just saying that you were gonna prepare it for like the next turn, not okay. holding an action to do it. Um it's only the distance, uh, yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. Um so the the the, the ballista bolt kind of whoosh, flies through the air. Ayla, you kind of half sidestep, it still catches you a little bit, maybe scraping away at some of your skin, leaving like a big red line. Um, but as it impacts the ground, the cafe's floor just kind of explodes into debris around you. Uh, and all this like dust and smoke is clouded up. But you're just stood next to this giant ballista bolt, uh, like the orc in uh, Lord of the Rings, just kind of just like, <laughs> um, impacts next to you. Uh, sentry. Um, so, um, can I use, uh, Misty Step and try and get 30 feet up? 
and like Lucius try and get in range of one of the of the ship that's going through the trade district. Thirty feet, yeah, the one that's going through the trade district. Um, thirty feet won't get you close enough to really like grab onto the ship. The ship's probably about a hundred feet up in the air as it's passing mm. through the district. Um, you could try and get up to one of the tops of the buildings and then maybe try and attack from there. The other thing is you can see Nova, like, holding out her hand, like, ready to teleport somebody. Um, mm. I think she, you made that quite clear that you were going to Dimension Door pretty much, right, Nova? Yeah. Yeah. So the first person yeah. to grab Nova yeah. will get Dimension Doored. Okay. Yeah, I said um, I am going up there. My, yeah. yeah. So it's up to you. I you can either ice. teleport up to one of the roofs and then try and... Um, make a preparation to get up onto one of the ships next time, or maybe attack yeah. it from a long range if you've got a long range weapon. Um... Yeah, I think I'll try and get onto one of the roofs, but then as I'm going, can I just like shout down so all the like citizens can hear? Just like shout to them all, just like to get in cover, just hide, mm -hmm. and yeah. try and keep safe. Captain America. Right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like you, they're, they're already scattering. They're like uh, several of them are uh, running, but those that were too scared to do anything, as you're kind of calling out to them, um, do begin picking themselves up. And you see the waiter that was serving you. It's like, come, we have a basement. Come on, come on. Like trying to get everybody out of the cafe and down um, as the ship is causing destruction. You can hear the sound of um, approaching military forces as well, but it still sounds mm -hmm. that they're quite distant away. And you've not seen any other ships launch into the air either. Um, okay. Uh, cool. Right. So with that, you misty step, you appear on the top of the cafe, um, and yeah, there's probably about a good sort of 60 feet now between you and the, the airship. Yeah. Yes, can I can I then like use my dash movement and try and get all the way? So you want to try and like, because it's basically, imagine that you're on like the roof, right, and the ship's passing, so you could yeah. try and like jump up onto the ship and like grab onto the hull, but you would be like literally trying to climb up the bottom of the hull at that point. Mm. Do you want to try okay, that? Okay, maybe I'll try that next step. Oh, let's. You go can try on, this then. then. You know, yeah, yeah, only a bonus next misty step. Cool. Yeah, um, go on. Give me a athletics check because um, it's going to be yeah, exceeding your normal do. jump. Da -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> plus nine. <laughs> well, I got a plus nine, so that's oh, fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. Um, okay, so you take like a big running jump. You teleport up to the roof and then. <laughs> You leap, and I'd say that you just managed to grab the very bottom of the hull of the ship. So you're you're gonna have to climb up it next turn. The yeah. ship is gonna be over the over the sky city. It's gonna go up higher once it's finished its pass run. So it's gonna start taking you up with you on the very bottom of it, trying to hold on okay. for dear life. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Keelik <laughs> Ashkala. Okay, I will cast sending to Araya. To say, man the guns, don't shoot, call black ship, ally of ours. Uh, okay. Ships are Magrona. The, mes the <laughs> message you get back, the message you get back is like, we can set sail, but the repairs aren't anywhere close to being done, Quill. We're going to be operating at a very damaged hull if we head out there now, but we can do it. Uh, I just meant man the guns and just shoot from the pier. Um, well, I mean... <laughs> they can try that, yeah. But yeah, if, I, if if that's more the intention, they can try that, but it's going to be not very effective. That's all right. I uh, can't do sending again this turn uh, or much else. So I think I'll just try a 50 feet up flight. Revolving so you scale is now ready. Up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you begin flying your way with your mechanical wing, woof, flying up into the air. Okay, amazing. Um, in that case, we go back up to the top with Lucius. You eventually, if you continue your movement for this turn, you get to the roof of the building. Yeah. And you can now see these ships begin to patrol. Um, okay. I, waiting for the prime moment, uh, reassessing what I should be focusing on this time. Um, I see the two on Dahlia's ship, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, the bomb has been planted. And it exploded. Yeah, there was an explosion. Yeah, there was. It, it looked like, like it was almost like a grenade. Like they threw something they and it exploded. Where are they now? Are they gone? They're still in? on. They're still on top. No, they haven't gone in yet. They're still on top of the ship itself. Okay, I'm going to try and sling a spell at them once they are within 90 feet, if possible. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll of the give roof. you that opportunity. Sure. Um, it'll be at the very maximum range. You're kind of hoping that they're not just going to be just outside of it, but you wait for uh, Thalia to bank, and you can see that the explosion has created a 
probably just about big enough for somebody to squeeze through hole in the the ship's exterior um and it banks it begins pulling round the, the the ship attached by the chain follows round and they just come you're hoping within range can i change that to a 120 foot hypnotic cube hoping that if they are on a ship and they need to stay kind of engaged that if i make them confused they're just gonna fall off the ship oh yeah Yeah. you can try that yeah okay so that's 120 foot so i might be able to do a bit earlier as well this is a uh this is a charm effect yes yes okay they have advantage on the saving throw because they are well that's great that's good for them all right cool so dc (laughs) is and it's a wisdom saving throw 17 yes 17 okay is that one is that one so we watch as you kind of focus for a moment and then this swirl of blue and orange magic just appears over Thalia's ship. This giant kind of cube of swirling lights and patterns. And you see these two figures just kind of, their eyes seem to drift up, up into the air. And then the ship twists and banks and they just do not keep their, they just fall. As soon as like they're, they're completely incapacitated and then it's like the world just drops out from it. And as soon as they're falling, I'm get, the spell breaks and they're just like, ah! As they just slam into the ground. Uh, nice. Shit, yeah. Uh, nice. And that's basically all I can do really on my turn. I might start, no, I'm gonna stay up. I'm gonna stay up on the roof and see if I can continue to assist from up here. Okay, uh, the one that Ayla shot on the chain um, is going to continue his uh, climb as three more begin to follow after them. Uh, the one who was on the chain, heavily injured, manages to crawl along the chain, gets to the hold, and just kind of pulls himself in, um, getting inside the ship. As three more get out onto the chain and begin making their way, one gets halfway, uh, the next one gets halfway, the last one falls off with another kind of sudden twist in the trajectory. <laughs> just goes flying but two more are now kind of going along the train to try and get inside um meanwhile on the other ship the others continue raining down you can see that a squadron of royal knights of gusthaven um mounted on pegasi have flown out and are attacking the ship that was attracting the trade districts essentially you look around and suddenly there's all these flying horses kind of rising up and you can hear the sounds of battle around you as they're fighting the, the borders almost on top of the ship as you're climbing up um, that's so cool i don't think any of them would have spotted you to help you uh they've just yeah. focused on getting to the top of the ship to prevent them um attacking on the the city again um but yeah you see that happening ayla i'm gonna grab nova's hand and then dimension door nova on inside the uh ship inside or the... Oh. yeah okay inside i i need to check with dimension door unless you've already looked at this it says uh, um, you can teleport yourself from a current location to any other spot within range. You arrive exactly at the spot desired. It can be a place you see, one you can visualize, and one you can describe. One um, you can visualize and describe. Yeah, that would count. Yes, yeah. you've been inside the the twin star before. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, lived in there. So <laughs> you just feel Ayla. Uh, Nova's used to this, but Ayla, you feel like space folds around you, and in one minute, it's kind of like the world turns glassy and mirror-like the world seems to fold in and then you breathe and you are inside uh the twin star itself um there is almost like a kind of shocking uh sight uh there is a large hole in the hull where you can see clouds and blue sky uh there is a heavily injured cloud baron pirate um inside with a weapon a pistol drawn um holding his side it's the one that you shot with the arrow uh but there is also signs of more fighting that has happened already um, you can see Big Cat, uh, the big white uh, alpine lion-like creature, is unconscious, bleeding quite heavily on the floor. Um, Kyrie as well. Kyrie is conscious, but is very weakly collapsed at the bottom of her gunner's turret, um, and is kind of like holding her wounds closed. Uh, there is also several dead uh, Valkyrian troops and what appear to be other cloud barons inside the ship. Um, and you hear a lot Shit. of swearing coming from the uh, the cockpit itself, uh, including a couple of blasts, what looks like to be like a couple of magical like from the, the turret uh, in your direction, like, ah, I've had enough of you, get out of here, just like kind of cursing coming from that way. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, appear and go, hey, Thalia, and then I'm going to turn to the 
one that I've already shot and go, oh, buddy, this doesn't end well for you, and just hit my, <laughs> my hammer. Oh, go for it. Uh, yeah, he, he's trying um, to bring up his, like, pistol, like, <laughs> as you're, like, running at him with a hammer. Uh, 22 to hit for the first one. Yeah, it, yeah. Ayla, he's on one hit point. You hit him, he <laughs> flies out of the hole he came in from, and you just hear, ah! <laughs> <laughs> You need that as a sample. A Wilhelm. I do need a Wilhelm screen. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you just clobber him once and whoosh, he just goes flying out. Um, you can't, there's nobody else to attack, but if you look out the hole, you can see two more of them along the chain about to make their way in. Cool. Can I go out onto the top and where, like, out the hole? Where's yeah. the chain? Yeah, Is it, like, pretty close to the pretty close to this yeah. hole you can see this giant uh, ballista bolt with these kind of like hooked edges has embedded into the crystalline hull of the twin star can i just try and yank the chain out yeah you can do that instead of your second attack if you want yeah i'll let you do that can i do um, that yeah sure give me a strength check you'd have advantage because you're raging uh um, strength check, 18 plus 7. Yeah. 25. <laughs> so you kind of, so <laughs> Ailey, you kind of have to kind of almost pull yourself so you're half out of this hole. The wind is whipping your red hair around you uh, as the kind of protections of Gust Haven's atmosphere, you know, as it flies outside of the city's boundaries. The twin star whip into the side. With one hand on your hammer, you kind of reach the other free hand out, hook onto this uh, huge metal hook, and just your muscles stretch and strain as fire kind of burns through them as you just pull it free, crystals kind of breaking free, and then eventually just... Uh, and the, the big chained bolt just goes flying through the air. The two that were holding onto it are also sent flying. I just go... And then uh, middle fingers as they as they fly as, into as, nothing. As you middle finger them, you see the ship that had the chain. Uh, there's only a couple members of the crew left. Um, they just seem to see what's happening. You see them hard turn the wheel and they begin flying away from Gust Haven. Like completely just like, right, we're done. We're getting out now. Um, as they begin making their way. Okay, I'll drop cool. back into the, the, the hull. That's the turn. Nova. Um, can I immediately run over to Big Cat and cast Spare the Dying on him? Um, yes, you can. And, yep. um, <laughs> what? You I'm not going to let Big Cat die! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, NPCs dying, um, absolutely not. Why are those? Like, ah, oh, they get a couple of death saves. Don't fuck them. Right. It's um, a big yeah. cat. <laughs> yeah, you run over. It's like, a big you cat! You feel uh, just the very faintest of heartbeats uh, beneath the thick white fur, uh, and as the spell kind of like seals shut any bleeding wounds, um, there's just a, a kind of faint purry rumble um, from a kind of uh, asleep but alive big cat. Um, I'd also like to point out that Milo, the smaller cat, is sat to my left here, and I feel like if I didn't do Jealous. something, he'd yeah, know. You'd he'd know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so, um, and then, uh, can I just shout, Thalia, Thalia, we're here, what can we do? Um, uh, and, uh, sure. yeah. Well, it seems, it seems like Aelus already dealt with the largest problem, which was that pursuing ship. Um, uh, I think as long as we can get rid of that other one, we should be all right. Uh, did you tell the city not to shoot at me anymore? I... Yes, yes, they shouldn't be attacking you. Uh, are you hurt? Are you hurt? Do you need medicine? I, I could certainly do with a little bit, yes. And as you kind of look into the cockpit, uh, you can see she's clearly been shot uh, through the back of her, uh, like, pilot's chair, um, and there's blood all over the floor. Oh, jeez. Um, immediately, potion of healing. I probably... It's a bonus uh, action, though? Or is it... No, it's you, an action. It's an action, isn't action, it? Um... Like, Yep. Can I hold it out to just give to her? Like you can start, I you start it... moving towards her with it, and that's yeah. when you'll turn all in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, um, the ship that is currently uh, being attacked and attacking the Sky City of Gusthaven um, 
several of the Pegasi sentry, you notice one of these Pegasi knights is just gripped by some sort of invisible force and thrown down into the city, like hurled with telekinetic force. Um, it crashes into a building and you hear it kind of whinny and neigh. You begin to hear Thunderstone pistols and rifles like pow, 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 all over and several of the knights have to back off um, as they're being forced away. The ship begins turning as if to leave Gusthaven. Uh, and it is your turn. Oh, okie dokie. Um, so as I'm, as I'm gripping on, um, can yeah. I cast uh, Find Greater Steed, please? Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. And what form shall this take? I was trying to decide between a Peyton or Quill. a Pegasus, because they're <laughs> both kind of cool. Well, you can do different forms I think, I, a, I, think you, I, I think it might be a Peyton. A periton. A periton, that's the Herb. one. Yeah. Periton. They're like a griffin, but with a stag's head. They oh, are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, You're a classy so, lady, Ray. Obviously, <laughs> obviously it, it could be different for Sentry, because uh, they're normally like evil creatures. So this isn't a periton. Yeah. This is more like a construct which is like in the form. It has a similar form, right? Big stag yeah. horns, like Elko. So it's kind of got Elko's face with the single purple gemstone, these yeah. giant antler horns, but then the rest of its body becomes like this metallic bird uh, that kind of stretches out behind it. Um, and you watch as from the golden matrix, this energy emits and forms beneath you into this huge like winged beast that you just land on uh, as, as uh, you know, you mount it effectively. Um, and I would take it you want to command the your mount to fly up onto the main, uh, up onto the ship itself, or what do you yes, want to do? Yes, please. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Elko. I, I don't. You can come up with a name for this version of, of uh, Echo. Mm. Um, but yeah, you watch as this whoosh, sweep up, uh, and there's a lot of kind of shocked faces. Uh, the Knights of Gusthaven let out a ah! kind of cheer as this reinforcement <laughs> uh, arrives. Um, and you can see at least one of the figures on board is some sort of mage. There's one on the helm who seems to be controlling the helm and has a pistol out. And then the rest all mm. appear to be like crew with, you know, um, crossbows and, and swords and things like that out. Um, okay. Anything else you want to do? Because I think that's your action and move to get your mount up. Yeah, so. I think I'll just survey survey the deck, see see who's about sure. before I make yeah. a move. Yeah, cool. Uh, Keelek. How far away am I from the ship? Uh, the ship has now moved because it had a turn, so it would be like 200 feet up in the air, and it's moving away from Gusthaven now. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> you can see entry case... now on this giant antlered bird, just like... <laughs> <laughs> um, shit, can I see, like... Oh, no, I, just, I don't think there's anything I could do. I, I mean, I'll cast Expeditious Retreat on myself. Yeah. But you're already uh, then... 50 feet up, so I guess you're about 150 feet away. Because you're already 50 feet up, you flew up last time. Oh shit! Can I can I see where I am, like the helm of the ship, or like yeah. any way of yeah, being an helm. engine or something? The engine, um, you can't see. That would be below decks, um, if it's like the storm chaser. But the helm, you can see. The sails, you can see, and the hull, you can see. Hmm. Um. Okay, I'm just trying to think of a way to slow it down. I guess hitting the sails will be a thing. Yeah, sails. Um, would, that's how it would. Sl that's how you'd slow down the storm chaser. Okay, I don't. Or the need... helm would stop it from being able to turn. That's another way that you could um, disable it. Well, the thing is, it's currently leaving, so it doesn't need to turn anymore. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't need expeditious retreat anymore because I'll go 50 feet towards it, and then with 120 feet of range, I'll guiding yeah, bolt at level four on the sails. I mean, um, why not just go all in? What's the highest level score right. you got? You're right. Sentry's on that thing. I'll do it at seventh level. You're right, Mark. <laughs> um, <laughs> sales, yes. Yeah, so the sales have an AC do. of 14. Do they? Because I have a plus 13 on Guiding Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> you literally yep. can't lose, apart from a one. You I hit a 25. One would still miss. A one would still miss. You do hit with 25. Uh, and then let's do some maths here. Second, no wait, that's a first level spell. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, d six. Yum, uh, yum, 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 yum. And d six. Forty-eight. 
plus. <laughs> you fly up. <laughs> uh, you don't get a pluses, on, I don't think. I know, there's no pluses. Um, right. Yeah. You fly up 50 feet. As the ship is just beginning to get out of range, you, you know, what is this? Like, you lift the spear and point the spear in its direction? Or is this like an outstretched Hell yeah. wing? Or... I'll, I'll use the spear to start channeling shit. Absolutely. Yeah, so like you point the spear at it, and then what do we see? Like, is this like hundreds of thousands of feathers come like launching forward, or I think is this all of the feathers? Like are now, even though they don't do lightning damage, they're almost infused with lightning as they launch forward even faster than before, even bigger than yeah, before. Yeah, like golden lightning. Uh, yeah, uh, and um, so yeah, basically instead of that feathery, windy glow, that's now lightning, golden lightning. Yeah, it's like lines, blurred lines of lightning, and it just shreds the sails. Shredding the sky sails of this patrol skiff, um, reducing them to zero, by the way. The ship just comes to a stall. It just lists through the air. <laughs> um, Christ. At this point, with Sentinel Prime there, the knights, and more reinforcements on the way, will drop out of initiative um, as there is no further danger. Unless you want to try and stop the one that's getting away. There is one ship which is, mm. you know, that was chasing the Twin Star and is getting away. Um, uh, maybe. I maybe. I, I, I can't do anything more uh, with a bonus action. Okay, well, we'll jump, we'll jump up to Lucius and see what Lucius wants to do. Um, uh, Lucius whips around to see the, the ship escaping, sees a huge... Uh, bird thing that Sentry's now riding. That <laughs> seems to be under control. Yeah. And then see the, the airship just sails just explode with a flow of golden lightning. I'm like... Hammy, hammy, ha. I turn 180 <laughs> and I'm looking at Thalia's ship and I'm going to messenger ring and say, what's going on in there? Is there any way I can help? Shall I make a landing strip out of ice? <laughs> I don't know what to do! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I just respond and say, the other ship's gone away. I, I detached the chain that's getting away. I don't know if you want to, you know, go after it. I look at the dot of a ship from my range. Um, yeah, I don't think there's far. anything I can do. Uh, apart from call reinforcements and hope that Gust Haven's defenses pursue it. But for now, let's get, let's get that ship landed. Uh, okay. Bring it to wherever you can. I'll try and clear an area for you. <laughs> and I'm going to head back down the building, I guess, and try and clear okay. a crowd that's in a, a big open area that's, where there's no buildings, like a courtyard or something. Um, the problem with Gus Haven is Gus Haven is quite tightly packed. The only real space for the Twin Star, because the Twin Star is quite big. You know, when you were out in astral space, it didn't seem big. But here on Erois, like the wingspan of the Twin Star is actually massive. Um, the only real place that it could probably land is the docks, like the Cloud Harbor docks, where the Storm Chaser is. Um, but you could definitely start making your way towards there and, like, coordinating that, uh, if you wanted to, Lucius. Um, I wonder if Quill can pick me up. He probably oh, he's uh, too top. far away. <laughs> Sentry could, with that steed. Uh, I'm gonna start running, oh, yeah. anyway, and just say, yeah, I'm heading to the docks, way. try and get Thalia to land the ship there, if possible. Perfect. Sounds like and a good... I'm going to uh, dash. Do. Just start running, basically. Yeah. Cool. Um, Ayla and Nova, uh, what do you guys want to do? Um, you remember that the, the Twin Star has guns. It has turrets. Yeah. Um, I was going to suggest, like, Nova's going to be, like, panic. Like, at seeing the blood in the cockpit, Nova's going to be panicking and freaking out okay. about Thalia. Um, Thalia and, will look at you, yeah. Nova. And she sees the potion and she's just like, Nova, my dear, get in a turret and shoot the ever-loving shit out of those bastards that t took on my ship, please. You're yeah. not going to die, though. You're not going to die. I promise you're not going to die. Get you're not going to die. With turret. pleasure. <laughs> if I come back down here and you're dead, I'm going to be very upset. And then I'll go up. Ayla's, like, already <laughs> on her way to the turret before Thali even yeah. said anything. <laughs> she's Ayla, like, do you yep, wanna take, on it. You want to take uh, two shots with the turret? It's a plus six to yes, hit. Yes, please. Um, and... Mm -hmm. uh, it's a set could i actually could i do that uh, thing where before like you know i would go in the engines and charge the turrets so they had more you could do that yeah you can do that power more yeah, they do more damage yeah i'll i'll do the I'll do more that. damage thing sure yeah. well you do need to do an arcana check then nova um and then Ayla yep. shoot. Okay. i got 14 on the first uh, one which i'm not sure if it would uh uh why are you targeting on the one... ship 
that's my next question. Do you just go? Are you just going to try and shoot the hull? Do you want to try and shoot the helm? Do you want to try and shoot the sails? No, but where's the best place to shoot on a ship to make it explode? Uh, I rolled a uh, twenty-three. Um, th th the biggest part. <laughs> That'd be the hull. I shoot at the hull. <laughs> it will hit the the fourteen hits the hull. Um, okay, what did cool. you get, Nova? Uh, 23. Arcana. Okay, uh, roll 5d10, Ayla, for the damage. Oh, okay. Hello. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. They normally do 3d10, but threshold. boosted. Um, it will, and that's that's okay. what I need to roll on. 14 damage. No, another one. 14. 15, 20 damage. That's, that's lucky, because that's the threshold for a miss, uh, mishap. Uh, airship stats. Sorry about this. I gotta roll on these. <laughs> no way. Oh god. Is it good or is it bad? <laughs> Hang on. I gotta roll D3. That lag. Yep. <laughs> so I you watch like as Ayla. You know, it, it's been a while since you were in the Twin Star out in Astral Sphere, but you kind of you're like, oh yeah, I remember how this works. Pull this, pull this, aim this thing. Uh, I guess I'll shoot there. You kind of pull on these, like, um, crystal, you tap these crystals on the top of the, the controls, and you just feel this kind of surge of arcane power arches out. You think that you're just hitting it a bit, you know, just on the big round bit at the bottom of the ship. Yeah, uh, sure. The blast goes through, and then there is a fireball explosion as you hit the engine. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> the engine, oh. uh, the ship just begins to... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, That'll do it. Like, you see, like, bodies go flying off of the ship itself, um, and there's just a kind of stunned silence for a moment. Uh, would you like to shoot again? <laughs> more for luck! Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I rolled a, a 19 plus 6 on the second one. I hit 5d10. So... Does the Akarna yeah. still uh, take over for this? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's 5d10. Yeah. Okay. Carry on, oh God, I've rolled two tens already. Um, hang on. <laughs> Jesus. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30, 34. Jesus. Okay. So the hull is basically a mess. Um, the hull is, is nearly destroyed. But more importantly, the blow, this time it kind of, uh, it's a staggering blow. So it causes everyone on the ship to lose balance. So the ship suddenly lurches. I have only passed one deck saving throw for the entire crew. Oh my god. So they all just go, ah! <laughs> so they all <laughs> begin falling off. Um, at this point, the ship is basically disabled um, as uh, everything comes to a rapid close. Um, Thalia I'm going to call that bring... good enough. Is everyone okay if I stop? Or I could go again. I, like, I, mean... I think, I like I think we can leave it there. I just, oh, I just okay. fired this huge guiding bolt and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that was cool. And then on either side of me, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> um, You, with, with the, everything else, Thalia manages to bring the Twin Star around and begins lowering it down into the Cloud District. Um, you see more and more reinforcements, like more Pegasi Knights. Um, several folks begin flying up to kind of begin arresting those that were on the ships. Um, none of the ship, the, the ship's like the the royal kind of like guard ships ever get airborne what you do see when you get to the docks is that there seems to have been several signs of fighting um it looks like a bunch of people had suddenly started attacking ship crew members there had been some like ships had been sabotaged people are being arrested lucius as you arrive um and yeah the uh the ship itself uh it seems that nothing was really mobilized um as everything's brought in we are going to take a break there um, and yeah. then when we come back, we will uh, Damn. catch up with everything that's happened. Holy crap. Intense. Damn, girl. Holy moly. That was I, fun. Didn't, I didn't go through my spell list when we were all rested because I thought this was going to be a nice, chill episode. Go look at this dude and then we come back. <laughs> no, no fine. epic space uh, ship yeah. fights, airship. Like sky, uh, airship, yeah. sky battle. Yeah. I could picture uh, it so well. I guess that's testament mm, so to your descriptions. Cool. They're pretty I, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. what I wasn't yeah. expecting. Find greater steed. <laughs> that was. I was <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I, very, I've very never cool. heard of a peritin before, but I now want twelve. It looks they cool. Are gorgeous. Yeah, they are pretty cool. cool. All right, I'll be. Yeah, I'll be. Awesome. Very cool. 
Right, oh, cool. Yeah, we're going to take Thomas? a short break there. Um, Thomas is going to read out some donations and sub messages. Uh, those of you who are watching on the Yogscast channel, there's a lot of you. We will be back in like five minutes. So just give us five minutes to take a quick break, and then we're going to be right back into more DD action. So stick around. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. And we'll it's see you a soon. good chance to check out our YouTube channel, right, Tom? It is. Check out Subscribe. our YouTube channel, High Rollers D D, where you can get up to date on all of our so all of our mini series. What well, you you don't want to watch all the videos and you like listening to stuff too? Well, you're in luck. They're all in podcast too, in a easy, digestible format. Amazing. I know we're the best. I agree. Um, we have some donations from what is that noise? <laughs> is that Kami Hami Ha. What was that? Okay. Um, we have a donation, a quarter hundo from Apatros Minor that says retroactive sub, currently on podcast number 24 and also watching live. Bring on the spoilers. That was uh, sent before we even went live. So thank you very much for that, Apatros. Uh, yeah, a big disparity between episode 97 and episode 24 of the podcast. Sure. Hope you enjoy. Uh, Mark's Left Nut gave a very juicy 6969 uh, donation. When, have, when is Curse of Strahd returning, Merc? I needs it. Anyone there? No? Maybe Thursday? Maybe? I think Thursday? I'm not sure. Uh, don't hold me to that. Um, this was what we talked about last week. It might have changed. Uh, when everyone is back, I'll let you know. Um, Gibby Gibby Gibson with a quarter hundo. Keep on rolling. First time catching live in a while, loving every second of it. Wow. Thank you very much, Gib 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 Gibson. Really hard to say that name. Jay, uh, hello, Rolos. Work has been horrid this week and lockdown isn't great. So thank you for being a nice wee bright spark at the end of the week. I'm happy to hear that, Jay. Um, yeah, sorry about lockdown being shitty, but hopefully this is a nice escape for you because yeah. you don't get... You don't get skyships bursting over towns and start going cool I wish we and did. Big... yeah, that'd be cool. I'd love <laughs> that. Um, hey, Mark, any news on Curse of Strahd? You can answer this. I have buttons in my mouth. I did answer. I didn't know the answer. Maybe Thursday is what I said. TBC, follow our Twitter. We'll announce it at High Rollers D D. Thank you, Katie. I made a mistake. Thrall Owen. Uh, still catching up on VODs, want to say thank Mark. Uh, thanks, Mark, for all the hard work you put into the uh, put in to entertain not only your players, but us as a community as well. And thank you to Kim, Trot, Rhiannon, and Katie, and Tom for time and things you do as well. Wow. Uh, there you go. Thanks, Mark. And thank you, Thrall Owen. Um, John's Acre Hugh. John Saker Hugh. Hey, guys. I'm just taking a sneak peek into the stream. I did not catch up yet, and you are the ones that kept me sane in my job at an assembly line. Unfortunately, they banned podcasts and music to somehow increase productivity? There will be a follow-up dono. Let's see where it is. Oh, it's right there. Uh, now I have to catch up in my limited free time, so I still wanted to thank you for providing entertainment where monotony would have been. Man, um, banning music and podcasts. Uh, well, thank you for the donations anyway. And yeah, sorry you have to catch up in your free time, but I hope you are enjoying it anyway. Um, Nightjar has donated with petition to have someone make a new BTTV emote and, uh, and it's Peepo Pat. But instead of the gentle Peepo Pat, it's Sentry Peepo Patting Peepo into unconsciousness. I'll work on it. Uh, I'll let you know. Okay. Sure. Oh my God! With a one-two smackaroo. With one -two a one-two smackaroo. smackaroo. Hey, BT Dubs, I didn't spot this one until literally when I said, oh my god, by, uh, if, if you're wondering. 2RRR underscore mirror underscore breaker, $720. I'm sorry, what? Whoa. What? What? $720. Uh, mirror Whoa. breaker, you might have put an extra zero in there. Thanks you might have done that. Seven <laughs> 720 blaze 720 it. Blazer? Yeah, that's, um, that's it. That's how it goes, right? Uh, and there is a message as well, which I will share with everyone uh, privately as well. But thank you very much, Mirror Breaker. That is, that is wild. 
very that is wild. Much. Thank you. What are these noises I'm hearing? <laughs> it's Mark's soundboard. I don't think it's a soundboard. It's like he's playing on his phone or something. He can play plus videos ultra. and stuff oh, now. Oh, you have to go plus ultra. Yeah. Sorry, airship. Looks like I had to go all out. <laughs> TPG Bacon uh, oh. has donated. I've been catching up the past few days, and I'm still an hour short to be up to date on this one. Uh, hopefully, I can catch it live next week. But wanted to make a dono. Thank you guys for the story and hijinks. Tom, we've also got the same birthday. Enjoy. You too. Happy 14th of January to you, uh, TPG Bacon. Oh, yeah, it's your birthday. Uh, happy so birthday yeah. for then. Yeah, it's yeah. Thursday. Um, really soon. Tom, um, do you want to hear yo. what the, the last guy on the airship that was trying to get away was, was sounded like? Is it a Wilhelm scream? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm running the fucking gauntlet, dude! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit. Um, I will be back oh. very, very shortly, and I will continue yeah. reading donations at the very end of the episode. Uh, while you're waiting okay. for that, Google Peritons! Oh my god, they are so cool! <laughs> I want one! Mm -hmm. oh, they are very mm -hmm. cool. They're very right. cool. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> While Tommy Tommy has his, his little uh -huh. quickie break, uh, it's just it's a little cheeky reminder. It's a little cheeky reminder because we've got a lot of people watching. Like, if you've just joined, if this is your first time checking out uh, High Rollers or D and D streams in general, you've probably watched some of the. There's there's a big one out there that I'm sure many of you have watched before. Is there? But if you want to watch more of ours, uh, you can go on our YouTube channel, High Rollers D and D. All of our previous episodes are on there. If the idea of watching like 97 episodes of Erois is a bit daunting, we've got mini series that are like 10 to 12 episodes long. You can go and check those out. But also just jump in. You could, we've got all of Erois is in chapters. You could just go find the, the nearest couple of chapters mm. and start there and figure it out. Um, but also the podcast. Uh, we release the podcast uh, twice weekly. So they're 90-minute uh, episodes. You can catch up that way as well. Um, but welcome. We're a very chill bunch, and we hope that you enjoy it. Um, I can make myself louder. I was a bit. I was a bit quiet. Tom's there. All right, Thomas. What do <laughs> you think? Tom, he's gone. Oh look, a dandelion must be the last one the season. Season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the season. Oh, what about the memes as well? So many memes. <laughs> I got all the memes. I got anime all bits. Memes. I've got dumb game grump sounds. I can do. I can do this. Oh wow, that <laughs> went very different. <laughs> Oh, that's gone this back. is what all your wonderful donations and support goes <laughs> towards. Money. I bought this with my money. <laughs> yeah, yeah and you get paid by us, episode. don't you? No, but not <laughs> like, this isn't high rollers money. This is Mark Kuhn's money. Christmas bonus. <laughs> Christmas bonus, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah no, but I didn't buy it with you. I bought it with my money. <laughs> anyway. oh, okay, okay. Right, Tommy's back. Specifically. <laughs> Let's jump back into things here. A quick recap from before the uh, before we took the break. The party uh, have traveled to the sky city of Gusthaven. And a few things have already happened. Uh, the party have made their way from their airship and have had a brief meeting about what they wish to do with their potential problems going forward. They've also spied on Democles Magrona, one of the noble high elves of the city, who they believe is connected to manufacturing weapons for their enemy, the Valkyrian Empire. Using Quill's uh, Eye of the Storm, they believe that they have a lead into how to access their hidden weapon facility. Uh, but also, mid-luncheon, uh, uh, a strange ship, a ship from the Astral Sea, uh, flew over the sky city of Gusthaven. Uh, the ship belonging to Captain Thalia, an ally of the PCs who helped rescue them from Astral Space, being pursued by two pirates, two pirate ships. Uh, the party offended them off, um, saving uh, people of Gusthaven as well as saving their ally, Captain Thalia, uh, despite some grievous injuries. And that is pretty much where we left things off before the break. Um, the the twin star longbow uh, docks in the Cloud Harbor district of Gusthaven. Uh, the knights of the city, the guards of the city, arrest, finish off the remaining pirates, um, taking them, uh, putting them under arrest, uh, and beginning to take the their their airships um, to be searched and to be you know. Um, uh, impounded uh, whilst investigations go. One of the uh, royal, one of the, what is her name? 
the head of the guards of Gusthaven, find them, um, who is name madame Periton. uh demethal um who is a middle-aged elven woman uh is currently one of the uh captain of the royal guard uh meets you at the docks a large amount of guards here are arresting various individuals um and yeah there appears to be some sort of uh, event that took place while you were helping rescue the the skyship there is also a lot of folk just village folk uh well not village folk city folk um the all of the airship builders um and several members of the royal families have also basically come to see the incredible ship that nobody in Aroes has really ever seen before um and they are they are staring in wonder at the twin star longbow made of its black kind of crystalline material with these arcane magitech devices uh, all around it these bizarre engines that seem to crackle and hum with an infernal power um and you can see that the guards are keeping everybody uh, away from the strange ship uh whilst uh the sky prince himself uh has come to meet with you all and to learn what has happened um uh, Sky Prince Aradan, uh, yeah, is waiting basically to speak with you and find out what the hell is going on. So this is we're skipping a little bit. I've already run back, and we've kind of yeah seen this managed to kind of like everything's kind bit. of come together. By the time Thali has probably actually docked the ship, is by the time yeah. like the guards have started cordoning things off and some word has begun spreading around the city because like this the the, the, the twin star was flying over Gusthaven. Like everybody in the city has seen it. They've seen the, big, the pirates it's a big one. It. Yeah. It's it's um, yeah, it's because goes that unlike prime directive. That seen it. Yeah, they, it's unlike anything they've ever really seen before. <laughs> oh yeah. Um uh Azaria um the Azaria Perel of the Aethagora is also here and is is very uh you can see her kind of like Shoot. with various assistants making notes and sketches of the ship. Not selling uh, very this one. excited. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, back off as they do so um sky prince aradan and uh captain valera uh kind of wave over so that you are allowed to pass um century you notice that the six guardians that you had passed this morning um seem to have been had taken part in defending the docks against some sort of attack as well you can see that they've obviously been in some sort of fighting um having yeah maybe helped defend or guard the docks against attack um they kind of stood off to uh, one side, um, but they once they see you, their attention focuses solely on you. Um, when when you make way, can I can I quickly go up to them? Yeah, sure. Like um, so, you see the the rest of you, Sky Prince Aradan and, and Captain Valera, kind of wave you over to speak with them, um, and Sentry just kind of veers off uh, towards these six guardians as you do so. Um, uh, well fought, friends. Um, what, what are your names? I'd love to know. A bunch of them um, seem to be not kind of like stunned, but they do kind of fall a little bit quiet. Um, uh, two of them, I'm just checking their names. Two of them snap military salutes and stand in a very formal uh, soldier's, you know, like foot soldiers would when addressing a superior officer. Um, two of them, Sentry, you can already tell. The more you get a feeling when you approach, you can see the kind of energy in their matrix kind of flowing through them two of them the energy is very weak um it's like uh something uh, like a fire in its last embers beginning to die and crackle um two of their two of them what well, the two that seem to be the most uh, worn down one appears to be a pikeman uh you can see that they carry a very long tall pole arm their armor is heavily damaged from years of you know neglect or wear you're not quite sure they appear rusted in parts uh very worn down one of their eye crystals is completely broken and cracked um and they've got like a very rudimentary kind of bandage uh more to hide it and keep it in place than to kind of um you know prevent it from further injury um they're very weak you can tell that their 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 matrix is probably only a few months left before it will wear out completely um the other one appears to be less of a warrior and more like a um attendant uh you can see that they've got a smaller frame they are carrying um you can see that their forearms have been built to project light um probably used as some sort of like um yeah an assistant or an attendant for a military unit 
And then two of them appear to be more uh, technologically advanced, uh, kind of similar to yourself, more of a less of a run of the mill build. Um, one of them has, uh, you can see, carries a Thunderstone pistol, um, has uh, a body that looks lithe and, and narrow, um, much more feminine. Uh, you definitely refer, you probably uh, kind of see them as a she. Uh, they've been sculpted in a way like you were to be more of a feminine shape. Um, they are actually wearing some clothes, which is kind of unusual for Guardians. Um, they actually have like a shirt and uh, trousers. Um, no boots or like gloves or anything, but they've they've got like a belt around um, that they've got various tools and weapons around. Um, and then the last one uh, carries a very large shield uh, that you can see and appears to be a bodyguard model of Guardian, something that would have been designed to protect somebody. Um, they all kind of snap to attention um, uh, and uh, they look in your direction and the shield one speaks first. Uh, uh, I am Bastion. Uh, he gestures. Uh, the feminine one with the pistol, Hotshot. Uh, the one with the pike, pike. <laughs> uh, the more attendant, lither looking one um, introduces themselves as Lampa. Um, they're the other one who appears to their matrix is running, running thin. Um, and it looks like that they probably maybe only have a month left. Um, you can already see that their consciousness is beginning to drift away from the conversation, fading back into memories and things like that, like you did once. Uh, and then the other two uh, introduce themselves as I'm Saber 2. Saber six at your service, ma'am. Uh, and they kind of snap their attentions. Um, obviously, these are much more run-of-the-mill models. They just look like frontline fighters, um, hence their designations of Saber two and Saber six. Um, it's uh, Hotshot who speaks first. She kind of steps forward and is just like, "We saw you uh, up in the air. Uh, incredible! I I've never seen a guardian do anything like that. Um, who who are you? What what are you?" I'm, my name's Sentry, I'm, well, Sentinel Prime. I am the descendant of Root Prime. I, they kind of look as if they don't know what to say. Uh, Bastion, the kind of protector guardian, steps forward. He's like, ah, well, I'm sorry, Sentinel Prime. We, uh, we don't, I feel like we should know what that is. I feel that that is a name that should mean something to me, but I don't... I don't know it. It's an odd sensation. It's... I feel like we know you, but we've never met, right? We've never encountered each other before, but... It's strange. I feel like I know you. Root Prime was... was with us the whole time, without us even seeing them, without us even knowing they were there. It's only now that I've descended from them, and I've brought them to the surface and we can finally meet them through me and I'll look to um to the pikeman and the attendant and I'll just I'll acknowledge and I'll just say I can see the light of your matrix is fading uh pike kind of steps forward he seems to be a little bit more together than lamper lamper is just quiet doesn't even seem to register that you're really there um and you can see that the other five are very protective but Pike kind of steps forward and he reaches out a trembling hand and puts it on your shoulder. I have seen you in my dreams. A golden light with wings. I have heard you calling to me. It is it is it time? Am I finally to die? I can try and help you, if you'll allow me to. I've been given a skill that will allow me to hopefully heal you. Healing is something that cannot help my condition. I am dying. Or at least what is closest for our kind. Is that not true? Can I just try, can I shut my eyes and just put my hand on their matrix and try and just focus some of that some of the prime matrix energy to them yeah so when you reach out um the others you can see saber two and saber six like they trust you there's just almost like this inbuilt probably because they were foot soldiers and you were a you know an officer they just just accept what you're doing 
um, Hotshot and Bastion. Hotshot puts a hand on her pistol, and Bastion holds her back as if, like, protectively, like, trust her. Um, you reach out, and as your metal and stone hands brush up against Pike's chest, you can see this kind of dull blue matrix glowing beneath in, in his chest cavity. And you connect with it, and it's not so much pouring the matrix's energy in, as you touch it, you begin to feel that sense of person, that sentience, who Pike is. You see flashes of his memories, of battles that he fought in, of his struggles in Gusthaven to adapt to a new world. And it all kind of flashes for you. You can draw him into the Matrix. And you almost feel root this ancient spirit kind of guiding you. Bring him into the Matrix, Sentry. It is time you learned how to save our people. Bring him to the rest of us. Okay, and I'll, yeah, I'll follow Root's direction. You can almost guide, you know, using a, your own consciousness, you pull Pike's essence into a swirling sea of hundreds, maybe thousands of different guardian spirits that reside within the prime matrix. Like a soul joining a river, like a, like a teardrop in the rain. And as it enters that consciousness, that stream of energy, the dim fade, those flickering embers that were once life grow brighter. They grow stronger, returning back to a roaring campfire. And you now have a choice. You can sense that Pike is at peace, that after a, a long struggle and long battles, they would be happy to rest in the Prime Matrix. And there are hundreds of eager new guardians longing for a chance to live once again to to fight and to be free and to uh to experience a new world that you could put in pike's place you could send their spirit into pike's body or you could return pike to it and his his time will be reset he will be he will be energized and will live another decade before it begins to fade again um what would you like to mm. do um, I think I'll bring Pike back in. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring Pike back in. Okay. Um, and then do you just want to find, like, a... Do you just pick a soul at random? Or do you want... Is there a particular type of guardian you would like to give into his body? Uh, you can you can feel that there is... It's almost like being connected to hundreds of different ones in a sense. You can find, if you want to find a soldier, you can find a soldier. If you want to find a, a, a crafter, an artist, hundreds of thousands of different individuals already eager for a new life. Um. Hmm. Um. So I meant like I wanted to I wanted to bring Pike back to life, not like bring Oh, oh right, so you in. send Pike back into his body. Sorry, Sorry. I misunderstood. No, no, no that's fine. <laughs> yeah. So uh you know, you sense that there's almost this moment of um reluctance. Like Pike is like, Oh, but I, I'm I'm at peace here. But then with a gentle encouragement, the soul the soul of the Guardian re enters his body and actually that reluctance fades away and a new fighting spirit uh, this sense of uh, as his as your connection to Pikes begins to fade and drift, there is this realization that he has seen a future for the Guardian race that he didn't know was there, and now he is willing to fight and to die for that future. And as the connection closes, you open your eyes and you see Pike with this bright, glowing, deep sea blue matrix just <gasps> takes in a deep breath and kind of stretches up. His muscles crack and he kind of stretches his body out. The other guardians around you kind of look suddenly. He just reaches up. His eye has been repaired and you can see it's now glowing with the same energy as he pulls the bandage off. I... <laughs> I am alive, again. I feel, 
I feel like when I first awoke. The, my prime. And he just gets on one knee. This is, this is what fruit has given me. And I wish to see you spend the next decade feeling like you belong, feeling like you can explore this world and make it your own. I've seen your life and I've seen your I've, I've seen what you've been through. You get another chance at it now. I will not waste this chance, my prime. It, my friends, he looks to the others. I cannot begin to describe it, but sentry, sentinel prime, we must do everything we can to we must we must do everything we can to find our people and protect them. There is hope here. And he stands up straight. Whatever you wish of me, Sentinel Prime, it is yours. I, I want to fight. I, I want to fight and I want to protect what you've shown me. Well, I hope I can call on you. There is a day where I may need you. I need you, you shall have it. To, to remain strong. There are, there are many more of my people out there. I need to bring them all together, unite them. Yes, of course. Together we can yes. fight. Of course. Uh, I'm, I'm just a spearman. I, I fought uh, against Valkyrian when he first invaded. Uh, but yes, uh, my spear, everything I can do is yours. I, I need to... I must, my body is rusted. I need to have it repaired. But I, I will do everything I can. Uh, can you help Lampa? Uh, they were just an attendant. They used to... They used to light the lanterns in the city. But can you help them like you've helped me? I, c I can try. I've, you're, you are the first that I have ah. I've done that to. I'm honored. I'm truly deeply honored. I'm... I, it's, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> um, I, I can give it a try. I can try. I don't know the limitations of this. Course. But I will give it another go. Yes. Yes, please, please. And they all kind of like form a ring around you and Lampa. Uh, yeah, do you want to try again? Yeah, I'll reach out my hand again and focus. Yeah. And it, this is like a focus. Like, this takes time. You can't do this in an instant. Yeah. Or at least you don't think you could do it yet. Uh, maybe in a time you would be able to do this much quickly, but you have to kind of concentrate. And this time it's much harder. With yeah. Lampa being so uh, deteriorated, coaxing the spirit back is harder. It takes longer. It's fragmented, like trying to gather up pieces of a shattered uh, window. You kind of have to collect them and bring them all back slowly. And when they join that river of consciousness through which everything flows, you hear Root Prime's words. This one needs time to recover and rest. They were close to becoming feral. I would send another in their place, but it is your decision, not mine, Sentinel Prime. Okay. Can I can I warn them first? Can I tell them? They will know. Okay. Your thoughts are their thoughts. Your understanding is our understanding. As we rest within you, we see the world as you do. We know the fight and the struggle as you know it. And any of those who are willing to return know the costs and the world that they will be joining. Okay, I'll I'll let Lampa into the Matrix. But as as mm -hmm. as Lampa is coming in, can I just say just just be at peace, Lampa? Yeah. Yeah, you hear a very faint thank you uh, as the spirit this time it's almost like a dead fire maybe just the glowing the tiniest glow of orange light that was still within it but as it rejoins it begins to very slowly begin to build into energy and heat like recovering um, but this one will take time yeah but again, you feel dozens, hundreds of eager guardians uh, willing to go back. Um, you remember Lampa's form, smaller, lithe, um, 
not necessarily built for war, but you could send a warrior back in their place. Um, it's up to you. This is Sentry's responsibility now as the Prime to decide who goes where and how they live. Um, I think I'd probably send through like a craftsman or like a like yeah. an artisan. Yeah. 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 You kind of reach out, and you know, you can just send you you by just expressing that desire. The Matrix almost responds to that will, and you feel the body of a. Uh, a young carpenter um, uh, saw, you know, they'll have, uh, you know, a name yet to be determined, um, but the, the soul of a young carpenter flows in, and they're kind of, and as you disconnect, you feel this new life as the color that was Lampers. Lampers had like a dull orange. The matrix changes from a dull orange to a light pink, uh, and the matrix glows once again, um, and they open their eyes. Uh, Pike and the others are like, Lampa, Lampa, are you all right? Um, but the new guardian seems to look at them uh, a little, you know, disjointed, a, bit, a, little, a little bit confused at first. Uh, Lampa needed some time to rest. So they're resting here with me oh. for now until they're ready to rejoin. Oh. Uh. Uh, the new guardian turns around. Um, uh trying to think of a good name for a carpenter <laughs> if you've got one let me know because i'm struggling jesus um, <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks guys uh kim you got a good chisel. woodworking name chisel uh the chisel. new guardian kind of opens their eyes just like i am chisel i'm sorry that i am not your companion but they were that they needed time as sentinel prime has said uh, but if i could ask your help I know very little of this Eroes, this world. I have been within the Matrix for a long, long time. I could use companions to show me the way. Yeah, and they seem to nod. You see Hotshot kind of uh, looks in your direction, Sentry, like, Lampa will be okay, though, right? Lampa will be fine. They will be. Okay. Well, uh, Chisel, it's good to meet you. Uh, and they begin making introductions to themselves. And yeah, the Guardians uh, seem to respond very well. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pat, um, well, I'll put a hand on um, Pikeman's shoulder. Hmm? Just say, um, I have business to attend to, but I shall return here when that business is done. And if, if you we are still here... Yes, we will wait here for you, Sentinel Prime. We have nowhere else to go. Uh, we saw you on your ship. Uh, it's strange. When you arrived, we saw you the day the ship came in. Uh, it was like we were drawn to you. I wish that you had been here a few months ago. There were others like Lamper and I. They were beginning to worry that they would lose their minds, so they left for the lowlands. And they heard tell of another guardian who could help them, but we didn't... We didn't want to leave the others, so we we stayed. I, I will I come to them. them. I will find I'm them. Glad. Good. I have much, we will wait uh, here much, much to do. Okay, Thank I you. will come find you when I return. Of course. And he just stands real straight, military salutes. Uh, uh, he turns, come, Chisel. We will show you where we have been staying. Uh, I am sure that there is work for uh, someone of your skills. Um, the group of them will begin to make their way uh, off. Uh, Sabre 2 and Sabre 6 uh, kind of turn around. Sentinel Prime, if ever you require uh, soldiers, we are more than willing to... And they kind of speak almost in unison, like, we are happy to receive orders, Sentinel Prime. Uh, for now, we will protect the others, but if you need us, let us know. I'll, uh, I'll salute to them back and say, Sabre 2, Sabre 6, thank you for your service. Sabre unit, moving out. And then they... And they just kind of follow <laughs> after them. Um... Yeah, and the two of them seem to make a, a, a funny pair as they almost move in step with each other as they make their way. Uh, the rest of you, you kind of notice, I'm guessing like quite a few of you would probably notice this going on. Um, uh, but the Sky Prince uh, is uh, called, is like, um, yes, could somebody please explain what has happened and what this ship is? Anyone? <laughs> 
it's a really cool ship. We know um, the captain of this ship, Thalia. Great gal. Yes, she has refused to leave. She says that she would be a danger to the rest of us. Um, can you elaborate more on that? Can we uh, uh... sort this out, please? Uh, do you mind? We can have her come out and speak with you directly. Yes, we... <sighs> I'm afraid that something is, Lucius, one thing to keep in mind is is, I mean, people are asking questions. <laughs> I, I need to know what to tell the people of Gusthaven. This is clearly no airship. Uh, we thought it was a Valkyrian weapon that had been sent to attack us. If not for Kilek's message, I would have had it shot out of the sky. Um, all right. Uh, tell them that this is an astral space vessel uh, that's come from another planet. Because that's, that's not what possible. it is. That's not possible. <laughs> the cradle prevents it. Well, <laughs> we came back, did we not? Uh, uh, it's been a long... I remember your stories about all of this, but I, I didn't realize that you had brought the ship with you. This is... This was the ship, yes. <laughs> well, you know, we couldn't really get back down without it, because... I thought, I thought Halidor space. might have done something. You meant... <laughs> we must go and speak us, with your he friend. He let the ship through. The ship was granted access by Palador. So if Palador thinks the ship's cool, oh, then hopefully you think right. the ship's cool too, right? Because it's a cool uh, The Royal Guard Captain Valera eyes go wide <laughs> at that, particularly. She's like, really? Um, yes, go speak with your friend, uh, this Captain Thalia of, of yours. There is much to discuss. Lucius, I'm sure that... Well, coming from your family, you must understand, if we study this this vessel, uh, this has magic and technology that we have never seen before. We could... We could learn much about the Valkyrians' weapons from this. Uh, can I speak with you privately? Well, soon? yes. Let us... Uh, yes, we shall speak. Yes. Because I have a plan uh, that could take this out of the public's eye and other eyes that would want, you know, schematics and... <laughs> that is the concern. I will have the guards go and speak with your friend. I We will speak privately, Lucius, perhaps this evening. Um, I will ha keep a guard here stationed as much as possible, but... Um, Can we erect perhaps stationary uh, temporary operate. walls or something? Uh, some wood to cover uh, we it can, up? <laughs> we may be able to erect something like that. Um, I may be able to have the royal staves project an illusion to oh. mask its its vision for now. Phenomenal. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, something that. Like we'll that. go and speak with your friend. Um, uh, she said that she was fine. She refused any medical assistance, but go and check on her. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to look around for everybody and probably noticed Sentry um performing that act or the end of that act and then sure. just kind of take a moment to soak that in and then just yeah. like oh, okay we all need to go inside the ship yeah. see um, salia cool. i would just say that nova's been on the ship the whole time she wouldn't have left so she wouldn't have seen sentry yeah. or any of this conversation like but yeah she yeah. wouldn't have okay. left no uh, thalia's side well i think Kyrie, yeah so Kyrie. for for nova um in the whole process once Thalia gets the ship docked. She finally kind of uh, not collapses, but all of the strength just goes out of her. You can see that she's got a pretty heavy wound. She's gonna, she doesn't need immediate healing, and she kind of is like, get your stupid potion out of my face. Um, but she's obviously badly hurt, um, and she's probably gonna take a while to recover from that kind of wound. Uh, her first thought is um, she checks on Big Cat and Kiri. Um, she's just like, are they, how are they? Are they all right? They're stable. They're fine. I, I cast a spell right. on Big Cat. He'll be fine. Um, I'll get Quill to come as soon as he can and, and, and heal everyone. Stop moving! And I'm tying my um, scarf around her side mm -hmm. to try and, like, you know, uh, stop ah. stop the bleeding on her side. Yeah, and, like, it's probably, like... Drink yeah, this potion. Bad. Drink it. No, drink it. it. I'm not drink it. It's not like a... You drink everything Nova. else that's liquid. Drink this now. Nova. 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 Can you just go get her a beer? Maybe she'd like that. That I'll sounds get Quill, marvelous. And she, he can, he, Quill can actually probably do some, some, some Listen, something better. We no, can save the potion. Sweetie, save the potion. You're likely going to need it with all the things that you keep getting in yourselves involved with. 
I am not in any immediate danger. You have saved me. I am very grateful. Fetch me my booze and go and get your little bird friend with the magic healing. And that sounds wonderful. The last thing you need right now is alcohol. Alcohol is a blood thinner and it will staunch any, it will, it will not Ayla, help please. with any healing that Quill is about to do. Can I, I've, I've already Ayla, gone go and get find, Quill. Because I know where her stash is, so I'm already going to find Thalia some of her alcohol. <laughs> and I will so bring it back, it. hand it to her, and then in the messenger ring be like, Quill, Quill to the cockpit of the Twin Star Longbow, please. Uh, Need some healing. Could do with some way. healing. On my way. She, uh, Thalia yeah. kind of pulls the scarf and pours a bit of alcohol on her. It's like, ah, that's better though. Ah. <laughs> Great, <laughs> now my scarf is going to smell of alcohol. Yes, it will smell just like me. I'm sure you'll love that, won't you? Oh, yes. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Hey, like, where is Quill? <laughs> I think He's while, way, like, uh, yeah. Lucius was talking to the Sky Prince, and I, I probably would have caught, like, yeah, the end of uh, Century, uh, the, the healing. Being the god. Um, yeah. I think I would, for a little while, still be watching the ships in the distance, sort of, like, ground to a halt to see if that combat is going okay, and also sort of scanning the docks to see, like, while flying, everywhere. How, was the, how was the combat that went on down there? Are there any people, like, running away? Are they... You know, there are not. Away. There are not people running away, but there's definitely. Uh, you do catch a couple of figures watching from things like shadows, um, kind of watching everything happening, and then they slip away. At least one of them seems to step into a literal shadow between alleyways and vanishes, and just oh, melts away. Shit. Same guy that took my eye. Um, haven't oh, no, seen we that killed for him. a while. Yeah. Um, but uh, you do notice the the fighting around the docks, kind of using Batman detective mode, reconstructing the battle Quill Vision. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can see that what probably happened is very quickly um, fights broke out. It wasn't organized or planned, almost as if just to try and buy the ships in the air as much time as possible. A very rapid, violent, uh, you know, attack happened. Um, it seems to be that several of the ships were sabotaged and the guards in the docks very quickly jumped on it, but just not quick enough to, to stop the, you know, the ships from getting airborne and, and anything like that. It doesn't look, it looks very unplanned. It doesn't look like this was coordinated. It looks like they reacted to a very last minute thing that took place. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Just figuring out if I could spot anyone, but shadow stepping, that's good to know. And yeah, I'll, um, enter the yeah. ship through the hole that was made. I'll kind of fly above it, cross my arms, and just drop in. <laughs> yeah. A uh, couple of feathers kind of puff out everywhere as you land. Um, Thalia, like, immediately snatches up a gun, and then when she sees it, she was just like, oh, it's fine. Um, Whoa, it's me! Whoa! Yes, you look yes, bad. yes, yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not I'll... feeling my best, my dear. And you can see her snake, her, her snake hairs... Uh, are kind of very lethargic. They look very sleepy and, and tired, uh, very much like Thalia does as well. Um, she does glance over at you, Nova, uh, looks down, notices that her like shirt is once again basically completely open uh, and just gives you a wink. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, reach forward to put her hand on her and then realize sort of where I'm oh, almost reaching and then like over her shoulder. No, no, it's a heel. I'm kind of covering my eye as well. <laughs> um, and I'll don't do, worry, yeah, I'll I'm not going a... to petrify the man who's going to heal me. No, that's no. I don't want. To look at. Let, let me oh, just. Okay. Let she's me, just grinning just, it, on, and she's just, pretty drunk. Just, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like without looking, just trying to button up the shirt, just like. Oh, you or feel a hand? Or whatever, take like... your hand and stick it under the shirt, Nova. A hundred percent. Thought would like grab your hand. I am needed <laughs> elsewhere. Goodbye. <laughs> she just exits the room. Just yeah. purple. When you do, just when you do Ayla, and, Ayla and Quill would definitely hear her like a, she's so easily flustered, it's adorable. Uh, there's your healing. You're both Drink sickening up. and I cannot deal with it anymore. I am going to leave this situation. Missing... Oh, Quill. Oh, I didn't Big realize cat. that you were so Big jealous, cat needs some... Oh, don't, don't flatter yourself. Sorry, I'm just, I'm not really looking for anything right now. Plus, I See, think she that... might get really, oh. really pissed off. 
Uh, she just kind of, she grins at Ayla because she knows that, like, you are not interested whatsoever and is just, like, smiling drunkenly to herself. As If Big Cat's alive, he'll heal. He'll regenerate in time. He He's was just slightly it. unconscious, so I don't know if you wanted to give him a little jolt so he could, you know... It's best Wait, to help him to heal naturally. Magic doesn't react very well with oh, Big Cat. I'm sure you've seen it before. Um, he Magic tends to be... It gets funny around Big Cat. That's why I keep him around, usually. Um, but yes, l leave him to heal naturally. He'll be all right. Make sure Ky Kyrie's okay, Quill. Um, she was, I'll she go was get hurt. Kyrie. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. And thank you, all of you. Uh, I'm not sure... I got your message to come here. And then I was nearly boarded and shot at. So I think that that evens things out. I mean, never a dull moment, right? Certainly hey. never a dull moment. Never. A dull you made a great entrance. Great entrance. Well, thank you. Spectacular. Thank you. I, <clears throat> I wish that I had made a better entrance by not having these Valkyrian wannabes uh, teleporting aboard my ship. But yes, I suppose that that will have to do. Well, I mean, we almost got blasted out of the sky by a meteor, like, uh, oh. recently. Ship's pre, oh. pre being up. So, Here, get a cup. honestly, Tell this me was all nothing. About it. And she's offering the, the Oh, bottle. sure. Get a cup. Yeah. Tell me about it. She pours you one. Yeah. You can tell her what's happened. Uh, Quill, you find a you find Kyrie, this harpy girl, um, still wearing a kind of ragged vest and a uh, little skirt kind of thing. Um, she's kind of got her wings wrapped around her, and she looks terrified. Uh, just kind of like shivering in like the bottom of the ladder. I think once I round the corner and see her, I'll turn around and walk backwards towards her, like not looking at her, not giving her too much attention. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Kyrie. <laughs> sorry, Kari. Um, Hello. Like, because I know she hates attention. Like, she hates people looking at her, right? So. Yeah. You uh, get the impression with the insight, by the way, Quill, that's not what this is. Like, she looks terrified. She just looks like she's been hurt and is really scared. I know. I'm I'm going to back up and, um, like, yeah. uh, Kyrie, I can I can help you. I can get rid of some of the pain if that will help. Uh, I just you might need to take my hand. You just see this, this little weak, because she's kind of like you in that her wings are her hands as well. Um, so this big feathered kind of like wing hand, this little claw kind of takes yours very gently. Um, you know, she's not too badly injured. It looks like she's been like knocked around, like she's got bruised ribs and like has been badly sort of like, you know, uh, suffered like blunt trauma from like maybe being thrown around. Um, there's also a stab wound in her side and her talons, like her feet, are caked in somebody else's blood, it looks like. And there's a body with wounds that kind of look like she's clawed them and killed them. Um, and she's trembling as you kind of like take her hand. Okay. Uh, well, I do um, 17 plus. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, something healing. Um, cool. Yeah. You, you that... send like you see the physical wounds heal um, and she seems to be a bit more life kind of flows into her. But the trembling and stuff is still there. Um, and can you can you stand, you... Kyrie? Can you? Um, I can I can try. I help you yeah. up. She kind of nervously you kind of help her up and she nervously stands um she just wraps the wings tight around her body um looking down at the floor um and you can see she's you know she's teary and stuff okay follow me we'll we'll get out of this room put you somewhere put you somewhere else uh and yeah she try and remove her from this room with the yeah with the, the, with the guy stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, you. Can do you I... want to take her outside, or do you like take her into like the oh, quarters no. of the ship? <laughs> okay, so you take her like no, into no, like. Sorry, the, there's a lot the of people out there. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. No, you lead her back into like where you guys bunked when you were staying on the ship, and like take her into the back rooms near engineering. And uh, yeah, she kind of gets quiet and and sits on the bed and seems to breathe a little bit easier. Go on, Ayla. I was just gonna say, can I um try and drag all of the bodies to like. The oh, yeah, you door, can not that. take them off, but start just dragging yeah. them so they're not everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's probably only about sort of like three of them that were in here before you guys arrived. Um, but yeah, you can start leading them out. The actual doorway that you used to use to get in and out of the Twin Star is where the hole's been blown in, so that doesn't really open as much. Um, but you can see that like people are trying to get that equipped, uh, and and people are kind of trying to force that open so that they can. You know, get easier access to it and things like that. Lucius, what about you? What are you? What are you up to? Do you want to talk uh, to Sky Prince? Uh, 
I was waiting for Sentry to catch up because uh, mm -hmm. I asked everyone to come okay. into the yeah. ship. And, in um, that case, Sentry so, can catch up. I'll let Sentry come up, and then I think I would bow as if I was in front of royalty. Sentry, to Sentry. Prime. Is that what I think I saw? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you're bowing. It's it's weird. You don't have to do that. Um. He wipes a I... tear from his eye. Did you really just save? Are you uniting I... your people? I'm I'm tr I'm trying as as Ru as Root Prime told me till all are one. That's that's what I need to do. And I'm just... I saw your first one. I saw it. Oh, there is well, some hopefully hope. Can... Hopefully, there's more to do. Hopefully, I can keep doing more and more and more and more until they're all done. Until everything is okay again. That You're gonna have to speed up the process, Sentry. There's so many. <laughs> I need to go find. I need to go find Rook and 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 Herald. They're at the they're at the uh, the city of glass. I need to meet them soon and and, and see how well, they're doing. We have a spaceship now. <laughs> uh, there's so much to do. Anyway, um, let's let's see if Thalia is okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, and then I'll I'll walk in to yeah. the ship. Yeah, you guys and find see the scene. The uh, scene. Yeah, you yeah. find everything because you see ale is piling up <laughs> bodies um you can see quill is kind of like coming back from where Kyrie was um nova looks very embarrassed like bright purple embarrassed in, uh, what's nova doing like i'm in the engine some... rooms like i'm in the Just engine like... rooms like you know kind of arbitrarily checking the engines like seeing what's going on but also just like huffing and puffing and like i don't understand people and this is awkward and i hate it <laughs> that's what you see like, in yeah. nova um, and then you see a very, uh, uh, quite happily drunk, maybe a little bit sort of woozy from blood loss, Thalia, um, sitting in her chair, shirt wide open, just everything hanging loose, feet up on the console. Well, if it isn't good old Captain Lucius and Sentinel Prime. Thalia, you are very exposed right now. I don't know if you noticed, but you're... I nearly... You're... <laughs> drapes uh, like, pulls the shirt closed a bit are you well is everything okay Enrothians are all such prudes yes yes Mostly your timely elves. rescue your timely rescue was very much appreciated um i, I, I must say Krill has healed me ayla has given me my booze uh, i have made no uh, embarrassed and i think all is well at least for the time being and the rest of the crew, Big Cat, Kyrie? Is everyone well? Big Cat's Where wanting to heal. I think Kyrie's a little shaken. Uh, it's her first time that we've been properly boarded like that. Um, I think she had to do some fighting. Not really her thing. Um, but she'll be all right, I think, in time. Bit of a so, sobering thing. a uh, couple of little, yes. uh, little problems uh, right now. <laughs> is, is your city going to shoot at me anymore? They're not going to shoot, but they are, oh however, goodness. very confused, potentially scared of this space technology that has just arrived on Aroes in Gusthaven. A lot of eyes are on this ship right I did, now. I did somewhat question the request for me to come to Gusthaven, um, but you know what? I thought, I'm sure they've thought about it. And we absolutely... Full disclosure! Didn't. Didn't really think about it. No. Just wanted to see oh. you again. No. Well, look, I suppose I was going to have to go to a city at some point. Somebody was inevitably going to find out about the Twin Star. Um, so, the Sky Prince, Aridan, he, he, he is the leader nice. here. Is he handsome? We'll go... uh, yeah, oh, well. <laughs> and Lucius <laughs> flusters. Uh, he... Oh. I'm going to... Do an arrangement with the Sky That's Prince. Yes. Sky oh, Prince. An arrangement. Yes, yes. I have a potentially. I need to work Nova. Could you help Nova? Where is Nova? Oh, she ran off because I made her touch. My She's finger. hiding. Right. Well, the measurements of your ship uh, and the secret basement that I have. I was wondering if there might be a way to hide it there temporarily. Needs to be a very big secret basement. How big is your secret basement? 
that's the thing. I'm not very good with math. How do we get my my ship into your basement? Would you not fly it in? But it's a basement. How do I fly a ship into a basement? There's another entrance. That oh, makes sense. It's underneath the island, the floating island. Well, <clears throat> I can... If I'm not going to be flying the twin star for a while, I could compact the wings. They can uh, they can be shifted into a new position. Makes it more difficult to fly. Um, so it's I don't like doing it. It makes it harder to uh, get up to top speed. But I could I could I could reduce the wingspan down. That should make it a bit more manageable. Um, Either way, uh, I think uh, some of the mages of the town are going to conjure an illusion around the ship in its current form yeah. to potentially hide That's it good. from. Because this sort of technology is somewhat advanced. Uh, yes, yours is the... a bit of a backwater, isn't it? I forgot that you, you don't have um, Magitech here. Nevertheless, there are people that shouldn't have this technology right now, and we're in the middle of a crisis of our entire planet being overrun. So we'd rather this technology be in good hands, uh, like the Sky Prince and those fighting for Eros. Well, if I can fit the ship in your sp- Special magic basement, Lucius. I'll ram it in there. How about that? I'm going to go speak to the Sky Prince. Uh, it's good to see you again, Thalia. Um, big cat. Hello. Good. Uh, Lucius, as a point, I don't particularly uh, want hundreds of screaming Erosians uh, in fear of the Medusa lady, so I'm going to try and avoid any contact with this these people if you don't mind unless any of them have a way to break my curse at which case i'll gladly speak with them um uh, do you mind if the sky prince comes aboard and speaks with you can you at least warn him about and she gestures at her like snake hair this uh, I'm, I'm a bit sick of people being terrified they're going to get turned to stone i'm not turning anyone to stone i will warn the sky prince of your absolute beauty hmm. and that you are a real a real catch that is what's quite that you say, Ayla? What, what's your catchphrase oh that i'm a delight i'm a delight you can borrow, Tell him that. You can borrow that yes yeah. thank you i'll try and convince him not to Can't fall keep it, for your Gonna flirtation <laughs> i'm not really a delight Ayla, let's be honest um very well i will speak with this sky prince seeing as i'm going to be hiding my incredibly powerful, incredibly expensive astral ship in his city. I suppose that seems only fair. Yes. And uh, do you need coffee? Can we sober Thalia up a little meeting the Sky Prince? I think that I do my best royal meetings when I'm half cut. Okay. I don't think it's going to be an option considering she just got, like, stabbed, uh, shot, and um, you know, who wouldn't want a little drink right now? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, All right. Should I want a coffee? I've been I've been trying a new thing. I, mean, I won't say no. It's... I won't say no, Sensory. I can bring one over. I've got this thing. It's like it's like really strong coffee, and then it has like a rosy and like milk stuff on the top, and it's all really like thick and foamy. It's, I, it's. It's milk. Howard's what? been teaching me some things. He's I've he's very Sensory. How many have you had today? Ah. Mm. Uh... One, two, there was a f- four. What time is it? Okay, if we if we hit five <laughs> is when she starts to get a bit shaky. Oh, know? I'll certainly so take one if it's got this sort of effect on sentry. I'll take one for certain. And okay, uh, get one. someone put a blanket on it. Okay, I'm going to get Sky Prince Aradan, the Prince of Gusthaven, into the ship right now. <clears throat> and, uh, Lucius will straighten up and walk out. Has, the... has Nova returned yet, or is Nova still hiding in engineering? I'm still hiding in engineering. <laughs> okay, nice. just, just waiting for the, the steam to stop coming out my ears and the, the cheeks to stop burning. Like, she okay, touched nice. a boob, y'all. Like... She did. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was that kind of, like, interlocked fingers kind of... Very, very intimate kind of thing as well. <laughs> I like Kim's face. Like that's yeah, my favourite. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you, Nova's you... first ever sort of semi-sexual experience, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and Ayla's involved you... somehow. 
Ava, <laughs> Ava and Quill just, just stood there watching. Yeah. It's not exactly right. how she imagined it. She's a woman of old romance and, and stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that Damn. kind of having the hot for Captain Thalia, who is very clearly not a woman of old romance, uh, <laughs> is definitely yeah. a mismatch. It's an there. interesting relationship, yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um... Yeah, the Sky Prince Aradan, uh, Captain Valera, uh, Royal, Royal Guard Captain Valera is like, Lucius, I will need to attend with the with the Sky Prince. I, I'm afraid I'm not letting him out of my sight onto some strange vessel. Fine. In, in which case, I must... Uh, I'm warning you now. She is cursed with the Medusa. Uh, have you heard of this? Uh, only in stories. Uh, yes, uh, from... I mean, we've heard the, the stories of... Powerful magic that can uh, normally a creature who is uh, seeks after beauty and wealth and greed is cursed. Uh, for us, it was the old stories of Siaska would um, curse those who are evil and cruel to others. Well, this is absolutely true, and it has unfortunately been inflicted upon our dear friend who helped us to return to Aro. So I would appreciate some respect and restraint when it comes to that. Well, I will do my best. She's not. Uh, can I look at her, or uh, because in the she stories, if you look choose. at the Medusa, you turn to stone. Only if you disrespect them. Thalia's never uh, done that to uh, us. Uh, Valir is just like stand behind me, my prince. I I will block. I will block sight if I need to. Um... She won't. She is a friend of ours, and if you're a friend of ours, then she is fine. Uh, very well. Um... You can trust me, prince. I can. I know I can trust you, Lucius. I, I, I understand that. Uh, and he kind of smiles at you and, and nods his head, and he'll follow you uh, into the the broken, slightly bloody interior of the Twin Star. You can see that he is personally amazed at just the, the marvel of the Magitek that's being used to create it. Um, Royal Guard Captain Valera is more concerned with the piled up dead bodies that Ayla has moved around and the blood and everything else, but you know she kind of makes her way in. When you yeah, enter she's... into the main cockpit, go on. She's also drunk and half naked. <clears throat> this way. Uh, <laughs> so as you lead her in, you can see that Thalia has at least buttoned her shirt up um, <laughs> and has uh, stood up. Um, and in the kind of classic way of any regular drinker, knows when to play sober. Uh, and as the sky captain comes in, uh, she takes a very Han Solo pose, leaning on one knee, one foot up on her captain's chair, uh, looks in the direction, it's just like, an honor to meet you, Sky Prince, was it? Uh, um, and she nods her head in a kind of formal bow, not bowing, but like in a, a nod of respect. Um, Eridan kind of nervously glances from around Valera. Uh, he does look at the floor. <laughs> He's not looking at her directly, um, almost consciously. Uh, yes, indeed. And then he kind of tries to bring his eyes up slowly. <laughs> a, a, a pleasure to meet you, um, Captain uh, Captain Thalia. Thalia Whisperwind at your service. Please, you don't need to stare at the floor, my good Sky Prince. I'm not going to turn anyone to stone, I assure you. I could have done a lot more damage uh, with the Twin Star in your city if that was my intention. Uh, yes, it is quite an incredible vessel. Um, what has brought you to Gusthaven? Well, my good companions, uh, you know of Lucius and Sentry and the others. They asked me to come and meet them here. I hate to impose on a royal that I've only just met. I know something about royalty myself, actually, and I know that such pressures can be difficult. Could I perhaps ask your highness uh, a little bit of um, amnesty i would like to store my ship here in the city uh, lucius has somewhere in mind and uh, i would like to keep my the knowledge of my ship uh, and its astral nature a secret if that is willing uh, yes uh, perhaps there can be a negotiation i'm more than happy to allow you to remain here in Gusthaven and will extend to you the protection of the Gusthaven's forces um, and perhaps we can even assist in repairing your vessel. I would like to make the condition that Gusthaven be allowed to study it for purposes of I believe defense of our world and my city. This obviously has incredible arcane technology that we have not uh, discovered yet and well having that technology would ensure a bright future for Gusthaven. Thalia looks towards Lucius, nods. Well, 
I think that I'm hardly in a position to argue. I know of nobody else in the city. My only companions that I know and trust seem to trust you. This seems to be a adequate uh, resolution. Could I perhaps ask uh, an additional favor then? I am looking for a way to undo the curse that has befallen me. When I was traveling to Erois with these companions, they mentioned that you have gods here, something that my world is not familiar with. Perhaps they would be powerful enough to assist me. Is that something that you uh, could help me with? I, I do have visions and speak with one of our gods, yes. Uh, I can do my best. Then I would be in your debt, Sky Prince. She bows. Well, this seems all very um, orderly. Uh, Lucius, you told me she was drunk and half naked. Oh, you heard that. Um, yes, she was. Seconds ago. Lucius, very impressive. I would never dream of doing such a thing in the presence of royalty. And she kind of grins Where? as she's looking at you. Um, uh, uh, Lucius is lost for words. Um, uh, so, uh, I must urge you, uh, Prince, I'm sure you already have this in mind, but those that study this vessel have no other ulterior motives or are working with those... Of course. Windbacks. Of course, Lucius, yes. Uh, I have two people in mind. Um... First of all, I think that it will take a certain mind to understand the magic and the arcane technology at work here. I believe our, I believe my friend Moonstar would be a, a suitable person to study the vessel. Uh, Moonstar, I... Yeah, yes, oh, I, yes. I know. I... The other... <sighs> Trust is a difficult word. Have you met um, Azaria Perel? She runs the Aethagora. She's one of the prominent enchanters here in the city. Yes. Trust is a difficult word, but she is she is the finest mind that Gusthaven has on enchantments. I feel that not allowing her the opportunity to study this ship, well, I, I think it is worth a risk. Um, I do not believe that she is working for our enemies, but I know that she is a woman of opportunity. And I fear mm. that if I do not officially allow her to study this vessel... She will stop at nothing to force a way for her to study this vessel. Uh, we've dealt with her, and we have sold uh, items that have been valuable. Oh. Ah, well... In trade. Simple business. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, from our <laughs> very insightful friend, Quill, didn't seem like there was anything right untoward about her. You can read through uh, people. Well, not through... I mean, we've been Brookstoned before, but uh, she seemed like a good sort. Uh, I mean, as long as whatever she researches, whatever she concocts with her research, make sure you're the first customer. Uh, it's probably the best way to put it. You don't want anyone else yes. to... Perhaps, um... we can, perhaps we can come to an arrangement where Azari must present her findings to all of us. Perhaps that is something that we should investigate. And she must collaborate with our mutual companion, Moonstar, on anything well, she discovers. She will have to be researching within my basement, would she not? If I... What is this this basement? Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, oh, boy. Uh, I, I'm really I, I bad have, at this. <laughs> well, I have facilities. There are... We have warehouses that um, are under royal protections. But, yes, what what is what is this? Uh, I look at the uh, guard, uh, as well as Sky Captain. Prince. Uh, yeah, Valera. She's like the royal. She's like a general of the the Gustavian army, basically. Yes, okay, I am so also very interested in this secret basement that you have, Elanasto. All right, so I can't leave this vessel. Okay, no more words, no more people. Oh, I've told too many. Moonstar knows, and that's it. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> no, that, that's it. No, there, there is yeah. a Magrona. <sighs> That knows a good one, I think. About ten people, That's not including us, know about it. We must have. <laughs> so, <laughs> you let know us the let us discuss these details uh, as we move the ship. I, I feel that we must make a priority to get this out of the public side. Yes, 
Uh, so long as no one sees this vessel going into it. Is there yes. also, the illusion I must be cast remind... first? Uh, yes, I think that we can make the illusion to at least hide it temporarily, and then we will need to uh, find a way to distract the town. But yes, we can we can achieve something. I must also remind you that there are now four only four days until the meeting on Horizon. Uh, we will want to be leaving at least a few days oh. before the meeting itself. <laughs> uh, so much happening. Still. And with that, my lovely friends, it's time for oh, the time already? Rollers to come to an <laughs> end. It oh, is geez. indeed. God, Lord. By the time we read out messages and say goodbye and stuff like that, I think that this is the best time to wrap things up here and there. So much oh. happened. Oh, my God. God, yeah. That was a oh, bunch. Oh, man. Sentry bringing back the, the, uh, the Guardians. Very cool. Very, very cool. Tippy, tippy top. It was time. Very good. It was time. Time. Yeah. It's very cool. Oh, very cool. is the base big well enough done. for the airship? The not the airship, the spaceship. I have decided <laughs> that all along the twin star longbow can fold its wings back, so it it can just about <laughs> fit. But it will take up the whole space. You won't be able to you, you won't be able to use the the Elanasto base for anything else. It will basically become a hangar yeah. for the twin star. Yeah, this feels yeah. like a priority though, right? Right now, I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, anyway, the Sky Prince did say that he has a place that he could store it, like he has warehouses okay. and like well, and stuff. Um, but it's up to you. It's fine. Every episode, two more people find out about our secret basement. So <laughs> next time, there'll be yeah. two researchers that need to go down there now to research the thing. What? They'll find what? out about it. Do you know, yeah. Tom, the thing is, is, you're not even joking. Like, yeah, like, if Azaria Perel is going to be brought in, she's going to be like, well, I need I need a team. I need a team to come in here oh, and man. experiment. And stuff like this that. is like the just worst secret. kept secret yeah. in Guest Haven. Like, yeah. 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 Just, just put a Take fucking out sign and... outside of it. Yeah, take, take it out. Like put a sign towards the statue. The yeah. button. You put it in Aradens when she wants to study it, then they won't need to. I'll tell you know. what. You guys have got a week to think about it. How about that? Yeah. You guys have got a week to think about it. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, thank you, everybody who came and joined us for an episode today. Um, I, I think that we've had quite a few of you uh, for this lovely episode. Yeah. Uh, and we hope you enjoyed it and come thank and watch you. some more. Um, yeah. Any other messages we need to read out, Tommy B? Tommy boy. Yes, indeed. There is a message from, oh man, bro. Uh, fun fact for rabbits, and it may include Sana, when rabbits are in immense pain, they don't show it. It's a survival tactic to show predators that they are not easy prey and would be interesting if you guys recruit her into the crew and train the pack. They just don't show pain. Wow. That's pretty um, cool. I didn't know that. Same with Sana, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Uh, kind of sad Kitty. at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, Mia Kitty, a uh, bit busy to watch tonight, but excited to catch up soon. Finally recovered from COVID and will be able to watch Aww. more again soon. Very, very, very happy to hear that, Mia Kitty. Um, yeah. Happy New Year to you all. Didn't get to say last week, stay safe and clear skies. Clear skies. Clear skies. Well, Kitty. Uh, Osfrey, hey all, long time VOD squad member. Got to drop off the stream now, but I just wanted to say, after an incredibly shitty week of feeling lost, thank you, all of you, for the much needed distraction from things. Much love to you all. Here's to another five years. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> sure. I mean, why not? Why not? Why not yeah, 10? Why not? Fuck it. Let's call it why 20. Not 10? I'll be 41. By <laughs> oh, oh, I'll my be God. long dead. I don't even think about it. Yeah. Uh, Varys <laughs> with a donation and no message. Thank you very much, Varys. Um, Sigalian with a twenty dollar do. What a first half! Uh, so glad to continue watching you, Chaos Gremlins, in the new year. Thank you very much, Kin Blood with twenty dollar do as well. It's nice to hear Tom's birthday is on the fourteenth. Mine is on the thirteenth, just like Orlando Bloom. That wasn't in a donation. I just know that. <laughs> and wow. Inspiration. Oh. I just know it. Uh, Dave, <laughs> Dave Roll is also on the 14th it. as well. That's amazing. Um, anyway, uh, oh, and for inspiration for the Hexadin, you can use mine, and there's a link to an example. Uh, I'll send that to Ree because I'm certain she's going to use a Hexadin for her next character. It's designed <laughs> after the Adventure Luge rules? Uh, adventure something rules. Uh, Chromium has donated with you are all amazing masterful geniuses wow that's um i don't, don't know about oh, that that's very sure understated thing. message there chromium um i'm something daft day 41 what a lovely episode sentry doing a good hey guys did you hear about our secret base 
Uh, oh man, bro. <laughs> oh man, bro has been again saying, "Hey, Rollers, I just want to thank you for the amazing story you're all sharing, and it's helping through a rough time of, uh, of, of. Uh, I think I will keep a secret on this message, and I'm surprised because my dad acts like Howard. Okay, uh, yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh man, bro, Aww. thank you very much for the message. Um, Tech te on live. Bad. Uh, yeah, the, mess the rest of the message. Teflon Live 726. Here's some love uh, for all of y'all and my close friend Spud. Finally, get to donate. Yay. There you go. Um, okay. I'll just do a double check to see if there's any more. I Streamlabs have like the canon fact that Howard has taught Sentry how to make espressos and cappuccinos, and now Sentry mm. drinks loads Lattes. of coffee. That's amazing. <laughs> what are they actually called? Cool? Yeah. Yeah. Vibrating. I don't know. I don't know what they've all been called. Howard would call it like, like hot hot energy drink, or something. Like he'd call it like hot happy drink, Cloud or something coffee. like that. Hot and happy. <laughs> hot and happy. Yeah, he call it. Um, he probably would call it like. Oh, is this my drink? I yeah. call it a hot and happy. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, we also yes. have some gifted subs from Alpha Nine Hundred One, One Eyed Willie's One Eyed Willie, Crazy Twenty Nine Cooper Orc, Yorkshire Dave, Tic Tac, and Nirocht. Um and also Thank some you. bits from Trumpole with no message. Hrisar, the names of the crew are important, especially as officers. What are their names? Uh, we got Lookout. We got... K -K -K I, I, I haven't got... I think I've got a notebook Lansian. in front of me. No. Penny. Lookout, Lansian. Howard, Kamara. Lansian. I am... Um, I was checking my notes about when we first hired the wolf pack, yeah. and I've got the names Faith, Sean, and Nigel. So at some oh, yeah, point, two, two of the wolf pack were called Sean and Nigel. So yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I remember that. I don't name all of the wolf pack because there's ten of them, and I only name like Faith got a well, name because of what happened with Lucius. Um, the rest of them, I'm just nine? like because we lost wolf one. Oh, yeah. Replace them in the ex in explosion. Yeah, like we Place lost now. one in the ILS one explosion, in. so technically got they nine. breed like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're nuts. Okay, they reach um, <laughs> full adult <laughs> form in a day. Grow up real fast as well. <laughs> we also got yeah, yeah. we also got yeah. some bits from Thoughts Moving Castle saying, <laughs> "I caught a stream <laughs> back in December and was so impressed by Mark's <laughs> DMing that I've been catching up ever since. Amazing! Thank you very much, oh, Thoughts amazing. Moving Thanks. Castle. Uh, castle. Your donation <laughs> from Olorenbe with no message. Thank you very much. An Ace of Thorns." Um, yeah, thank you for that message right. as well. I will, I will share that with everyone else. That is all. all right. Kim, thank you very much. I'm going to check one last thing before we wrap up. Kim, are you okay that Thalia like, made him, like Nova touch her boot? <laughs> are you okay? It's fine. It's just that that's how she'd react. Like, she's not, <laughs> yeah, no, she's you know, very closeted. And yeah, I just and want to check think, in with yeah, Kim. Yeah, she has a. Yeah, it's fine. It caught me out. I won't lie. Um, like that she'd do it in front of everybody and stuff like that. But like she reacted the way I think she'd react. And um, yeah. like yeah, she's very old fashioned. I think you know because this is her first Shocking. experience, right? Yeah. And like after I'm such an emotional in. battle I'm and like with... I'm checking in with player Kim, Kim is fine. That's alright. Player Kim is fine. Player Kim is a little flustered. Uh. <laughs> P P that player Kim is probably a similar uh, pansexual disaster <laughs> that Nova is. Um, yeah, like, right, I'm like okay, this in real cool. life. Like, you know? Yeah, right. okay. <laughs> Ted looks at me in a certain way and I'm like, <laughs> oh. I'm going to go somewhere else. Nice. All right. Yeah. Oops. Cool. Well, we will be back. Um, we're going to keep things loose for Thursday just because my plans are a little bit loose for this week. But we might be back for Curse of Strahd. Um, mm. But we'll be back next week for more of Rois. So until then, take care. I think Barry is streaming some Minecraft after us. Barry boy, get the blebs and the boggies <laughs> uh, and enjoy enjoy some Minecraft. Um, and we'll see you all yep. next week. All right. Bye, Bye. everybody. All right. Have a great time. Bye. 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 Bye.